phone. And welcome. We are the keepers of the house of light. And we're glad to come in. Um, that you can jo join us to keep this um, Yahweh's Sabbath with us. And, and as we do normally, let's introduce ourselves. And I want to go to my left here first. Uriah Ben Israel. Obadiah Ben Israel. Praise Yah. And I'm Yehuda Ben Israel. And um, our brother Mikael Ben Israel, uh, he's not with us today. He's under the weather. And um, just put your prayers for that brother that he will have a speedy recovery, that Yahweh will bring him back to the fold uh, next Shabbat to participate in giving and sharing Yahweh's word, his truth, his light. And we know that light is uh, Yahshua Mashiach, or Yahshua the Messiah, or Yahshua the Christ. Mm -hmm. So, but he is Yahshua the anointed. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Say the Lord. You know, he's anointed by none other than Yahweh Elohim of hosts. Mm, praise yeah, praise and yeah. what are we here to do? We're just brothers, like we always talk about. That's right. We're just brothers, the keepers of the house of light. We're brothers dedicated to spreading the righteousness, truth, love, mercy, and forgiveness mm. of our Father, Yahweh Elohim of Yahweh Elohim of hosts. Mm -hmm. By and through his son, again, Yahshua, the Messiah, the Lamb of Yahweh, the King of Israel, our Redeemer and Savior, the High Priest mm -hmm. of Elohim, Yahweh Elohim. So when you pray, you got to go through the High Priest, right? Just mm -hmm. like our Father to do under the uh, under the Abrahamic. Covenant, the laws that were given um, uh, to Aaron, to, you know, Aaron, his son, the priest. Mm -hmm. You got to have the priest. And, and they were high priests, only of the seed of Aaron. That's right. So, but our Redeemer is of a different order. He's of an everlasting order, mm -hmm. the order of Melchizedek. That's right. Because he lives forever. He died once, and he was resurrected and ascended to the throne. To sit at the uh, right hand of his father until he makes his enemies his uh, his footstool. Mm -hmm. But he's a priest, so when we pray, you have to go through Yahshua Hamashiach. Right. You got to go through Yahshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. You got to go through Yahshua the Christ. That's right. No one else. No one else. There's no other name. What's the, what? What? Is there no other name? Man can be saved. Say that again, brother. There's no other name whereby man can be saved. No other name. Yes. So under heaven. So we know we see um, that this thing is so real that we can't play around with it. So that's why we're glad to be here today to teach and proclaim uh, the gospel of Yahshua, uh, who magnifies Yahweh's law. And he's made it what? Honorable. Mm. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. So we have to give him glory. We have to, because we've been called in. We've been, we've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. That's right. You know, that's our redeemer. You understand? So we're happy to be here uh, just to do our part. And hopefully you will be edified in our discussions today. Um, but before we jump into uh, our class discussion, because, you know, you have to give Yahweh the glory. Oh, we have to absolutely. praise him. You know, so, God, my brother. You know, we're not scripted here. Are we elder? Uh, no. We're not following the script, brother. No, no, so sometimes. We script. We follow the script in the book, but we don't have a plan. <laughs> so sometimes we come in and the spirit just takes over, and we and we go with that. We go with that flow. But before we begin our class today, it is entitled Genesis of the Nations. Again, Genesis of the Nations. Now that's our class discussion for the day. But before we delve into it, uh, Brother uh, Uriah will take over and uh, begin the uh, class with the reading of the of the Shema. In Google Five, I'm Okay. Deuteronomy I'm chapter six, verse four. Well, remember to, to grab your Bible, a pencil, and a paper. So you can uh, follow us, um, you know, as we go 
Praise God. Yeah. Again, we're in the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, is one other name. And thou shalt love Yahweh, thy Elohim, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Praise you. So where are we going now, brother? Yeah, we're going to go on the next um, book we're going to go into is the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 18. We're just going to read a single verse there. And this is the authority we receive, you know, from the Messiah. Verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Praise Yah. So Yahshua is right here. Mm -hmm. That spirit. He sent the comforter with us. That spirit mm -hmm. of truth. Mm -hmm. So Praise he's in the midst of us. Yeah. And so, now brother, we want to make sure people think, well, we can just worship Yahweh on any day. No, see, that's, is that right, brother? No, sir. You can't no, just worship him. You, you're supposed to worship him, in it, but he has one day that, that, he's, that he set aside. That's, mm -hmm. right. that's the first thing that he blessed. The Sabbath day. That's the first thing that he blessed. First thing he blessed. And uh, that's one of the first things that the nations change. Mm. Isn't that something? Yeah. The nations change the holy day of Yahweh from the Sabbath, this day of rest. That's why I say the curse of the Bible of the earth. Oh. Mm. Uh, they have broken the, the everlasting that's covenant. Right. That's right. Mm. Right. Why do you think mankind is going through so much turmoil today? Mm. Exactly. That's something else. Something else. We have to reflect on these things. Yeah. Why? Because mm. you know, man wants to do it himself. He wants to. He has another God mm. that, mm -hmm. that he's uh, that he's listening to. Mm. The prince of this earth. Uh, uh, you know that's Lucifer, Satan. That's right. He uh, has the nations. Absolutely. So, so he got them, and uh, and unfortunately. Many of us are being misled uh, along that path. So we have to give ourselves, um, a, you know, we have some, uh, we have to give ourselves uh, some understanding when we keep the Sabbath. We're not just doing this out of a, for, uh, this is a commandment. That's right. And I think we, you just read the, you just read the Shema, mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Mm -hmm. You just read out Matthew 20, verse 18. 18. Mm -hmm. But now, it's the Sabbath, though. What does Yahweh say about his holy day, brother? Well, let, let, with that said, let's go into the book of Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah 58. We're going to be reading verse 13 and 14. Verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the, from the Sabbath, from doing thy ple pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. Okay, so he is the prophet of Yahweh telling his people Israel. Mm -hmm. And we are his people, Israel. Right. We don't want to make no qualms about it. Brother Uriah, Brother Obadiah, myself, Yehuda, we, we recognize and we know that we are of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right, yeah. We are Jews. We are Israelites. We're, we're part of the people of the book. But that doesn't go to our head mm. because you got to be what? Circumcised mm. in the heart. That's right. Right? That's right. You got to do the works of Abel. Mm. Faith. You got So all those things, they don't amount to nothing if you don't keep these commandments and you're not walking in the, the spirit so of Yahshua. We don't have love. So do we, do, do we speak uh, in uh, temple uh, ornaments and brass and yeah, I'm, 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 no no we pray, yeah paraphrasing paraphrasing but uh, yeah if we don't have love it's, 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 it's like if y'all we don't build a house the labor is labor in vain exactly sure. it's in vain yeah. sure. all that work is in vain mm -hmm. but you, 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 do you want to I just like we do this each Shabbat but I always want to pay attention to verse 13 anybody want to just talk about 
verse 13 in Isaiah 58, verse 13, about this Sabbath. Anybody want to just when you look at those words? Anything else you want to say about it? Well, you know, knowing that, um, you know, our forefathers, including ourselves, have broken the everlasting covenant. And, um, you know, he, he pleaded, he's pleading with us to return back to keep his law. You know, so we have to turn back, at least start keeping the Sabbath day holy. Mm -hmm. Walk righteously before him. And what I, what I meant by righteously is following the law that is written in this book. That is preserved by our forefathers. This is our book. Mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been given to anyone else. Right. Yeah, right. but it's given to us. So we can read, understand these things that are written in here. Teach ourselves first. Mm -hmm. And then teach our people. Right. Then we can teach the other nation. That's you exactly. have to go in that order. That's yeah, you right. gotta get yourself in order first. Absolutely. You gotta get brother. yourself. You gotta get yourself, get your house in order, right? Yeah. Right. So That's we right. can't go out here teaching other people if we haven't gotten ourselves together we ain't got our our own houses together mm -hmm. so it, it is important to know this is Yahweh's Sabbath this is a holy day mm -hmm. that he set this apart for us to, to rest absolutely you know I was speaking to a, a friend last night and one of the things um, I put out there I said well uh, man has never come into his um, rest we've never rested mm -hmm. we've never come into the sabbatical rest mm -hmm. still waiting that we're time. still awaiting that time because man sinned and broke the law on the what? On the um, sixth day. Mm -hmm. you know, they ate of the forbidden fruit on the sixth day mm -hmm. that Yahweh said not to do. But you said something um, on this Sabbath. You said that Yahweh gave this to us. Right? That's right. Absolutely. He said he gave it to us. Mm -hmm. But someone may say, well, I, I believe, I'm a Christian. I don't. I disagree with that. No, we're, we're not here to... Uh, challenge or anything about your faith, but we're just about going from the book. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if that was the case, but if you what you said was right, mm -hmm. and let's go to Paul. I want you to go to Paul, Romans chapter nine, mm -hmm. and um, and let's let's go to nine, and um, you know, so you read that Romans, uh, Romans chapter nine, Romans, Romans chapter nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you pick it up. Um, we want to pick that up, verse one. One, two, five? Yeah. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness the Holy, in the Holy Ghost. Now, who's talking? Who's, who, who's mm. this? In, who, who's the author of Romans? Yeah. This letter? It's Saul. It's Saul, right? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Some call him Paul. Yeah. So Paul is writing this letter to the, in Romans, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, in Romans. So... Just start that again. What, 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 read one again. Just read over again. Because I want people to understand when you read Yahweh's word, be it in the scriptures from Genesis to Malachi or in the Gospels, mm -hmm. from Matthew, or going all the way to the letter, to the Gospels, and the letters, the letters mm -hmm. to Revelation, you can't just rush through this thing. That's right. You got to stop and mm -hmm. see what, what is he saying? What is this? Mm -hmm. What is Saul saying here? Mm -hmm. So let's that, just. So he's concerned about something here in verse one. Yeah. About some, about his people, about his brothers. But let's start it again. And I want the viewers to listen to Elder uh, uh, who's, uh, Uriah here as he goes over that. Verse one. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, let's pause there. Mm -hmm. Now you know you go back into Moshe mm -hmm. uh, when Israel was uh constantly uh, uh going backward, right? Mm -hmm. Moshe wanted to what? He said, he said, Father, block my name from the book. Mm. He made an intercession oh, yeah. for Israel. Several right? Times. Several times. Several times. So he said, it, it, don't, don't destroy him. He gave a reason. Don't destroy him. They're going to say you brought uh, the, the people out of Israel mm. into the wilderness mischief. for mischief. Mm. Just, just to kill them. But look at that. Look at how look at look at the fact that uh 
how quickly y'all was ready to just get rid of the whole nation. Mm. Like you was talking about us being um not being high minded. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Look at how quickly y'all was like, hey Moshe, you get out the way. I'm gonna kill all <laughs> them niggas and make a nation out of you. Mm. He said, I'm gonna make a nation damn it, I'm gonna make a nation out of you. Right. That's right. what we told quickly we 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 pissed off mm-hmm. our creator. Right. Can it's you a, imagine? Right. We pissed off the creator of right. 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 We want to kill him. everybody. He took him there. He right. took him there. So he'll just say, I'll just make a nation out of you, Moshe. I'll just mm-hmm. use your seed and start all over. And Moshe, Moshe constantly pleaded. And Moshe pleaded. As you say, constantly. Mm-hmm. You know, because we get upset sometimes. So we want to make sure we watch our language. But we yes, we, 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 <laughs> we we definitely, we know. we. But look at the condition that we're in. In America. Mm-hmm. In the Americas. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and the brothers that are still on the continent. Mm-hmm. That's right. We are, we're, we're, we're catching hell. We've been, uh, nobody wants to, we catch a lot of problems. Oh, man. And our people don't understand why they are in trouble. But we can go there too. But here, Paul is doing the same thing Moshe did. Yeah. Isn't he? That's he's right. kind of, he, he, he's writing and saying, he's in another, he's saying, I wish, mm-hmm. I wish I could just, but that's not the case. He, you know, he said, I wish I could just be a curse. Just put it on me. Mm-hmm. But Yahshua is already taking our sins. So, you know, Paul, ain't nothing for you to worry about, but but he's writing. Yeah. He's concerned about is, what did you say, uh, uh, Elder? He said, I could wish my, read three again. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren. No, you re- misreading that. That says for everybody in the world. Mm, is that right? No. No, you mis- no. For my brethren. No, no, but that says for the, the Gentiles. No, for my kinsmen. No, that means for all the nations. Mm, according to the flesh. Right. Okay. So what you're telling me now, mm-hmm. this is for my brothers? Yes. According to my kinsmen. That means what? My brothers. My brother, you're like your relatives. Your kid folk. Yeah. Your yeah. nephews and uncles and cousins. Yeah. That's right. Everybody. All that lineage. That lineage. From a particular blood lineage. Mm-hmm. According to the what? Flesh. According to the flesh. Now, if he would have said the spirit, that would have included everybody. Right. All mm-hmm. the nations for that purpose. But he's talking about his particular group that he comes from, his brothers. Mm-hmm. Now, who are these people? Now, keep on. He's going to tell you who they are right now. That's right. right now. now. Who are his camp people? Verse four. four. Verse four. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Mm-hmm. Okay. To whom pretended the adoption okay, and, on. Wait, mm, on, read this. and the glory mm. and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of Elohim and the promises. Okay, now stop. Mm. Because obviously he's speaking about his brothers. Mm-hmm. He's an Israelite. Mm-hmm. He's talking about his brothers. He said, to whom pertained. Now let's look at these things that, now the whole Bible, we tell people this book is about one nation of people. That's right. The children of Israel. Mm-hmm. This is the children of Israel's history. It's Israel's history book. Mm-hmm. All the nations have a history, and, and the children of Israel got a history. That's right. And they promulgated their history was written. Mm-hmm. Yahweh gave the prophets. They wrote as the Spirit, Holy Spirit, moved them too. Right? That's holy, right. holy men mm-hmm. wrote these things. That's right. They ain't come up with it. It's not their feelings that was written. No, their sir. opinions. See that? Yes, sir. It's not their opinions. Mm-hmm. The brother just laid it out. Yeah. So, as it said uh, in Second Peter, that the, the scriptures are no private interpretation. Oh, right. so I can't take this book and say I think this. Mm-hmm. Right? No, no, no. He didn't ask us what we thought when we wrote. When it was, were we there when this was written? No, we were not. He didn't ask I wasn't there. No, I know I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> he didn't ask our opinions. He asked our opinions. about this. Let's think about this. So it's right here in the book. We're in the God. We're in the quote New Testament. Mm-hmm. Now, why can't you see this when you're reading it? Because you don't really read it a lot of times. Mm. You are listening to what people tell you. Mm. And that's what, be it. Even, even some of our people who call them, who know they're Jews, mm. it's right. They don't, listen to, they don't take the time necessarily to read. They're mm. listening. Mm. But you've got to prove all things in this book. That's correct. Study to show yourself a fool. That is correct. Right. Say that again. you got to study to show yourself a fool. Right. Children read. I mean, I've got folks to say that. He said, man, children read. He said, the books that study, there's a difference between reading and studying. There you, you go. Know, right. You just read mm-hmm. the words, but then now studying requires a whole lot more. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Until, that study may require you searching the scriptures here. Uh, yeah. They're a little. Line upon line. 
Preset, preset. Yeah. What are they talking about? But we've been studying the book. That's why we we don't want to just go off on you. But that's what we we're talking about. So here, Paul is telling you, we, we want to go here because the brother said, you know, Yahweh gave this book, gave us this book. Mm -hmm. This is our history. And this is Paul, the people they say created Christianity. No, there's no such thing written. Mm -hmm. But Paul is telling you, he got concerned for his brothers. Mm -hmm. Who are what? Brother, continue to read. It says they're Israelites, right? Yes. Now they say pertaining to the adoption. What is that about? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Anybody know what that means? Mm -hmm. The adoption? You're right. See? The sons of yeah, we're the sons of Elohim. When you get that new body, mm -hmm. when you get that resurrection, mm -hmm. you're going to be like Yahshua. Mm -hmm. You're going to be adopted. You're the sons. There's something about this that all this applies to us, Israel. First, honor and glory to whom? The Jew first. first. Then, then to the nation, to the Gentiles. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this says, uh, pertains to the adoption. And then it goes on and say what? Continue, brother. And the back and forth. Back and forth. The adoption and the glory. The covenant. So all the promises in this book are made mm. to whom? Israel. The promises and the covenants. They're not made to all the nations. The nations yeah. got to hold on to us. Mm. Through Yahshua. You got to come through Israel. You understand? Mm. Through our Messiah. Mm. Yahshua. Now, now look at that now. <laughs> We've made that, uh, our, our fathers made that a hard road for the nations to bear. I want you, you know, to go, go, go ahead, experiment on that. Um, today, we, we, we're no different. You know, I mean, so like you say, we, we, we be not high-minded because to whom much is given, much is required. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the responsibility that we, that, 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 that we it lies upon us. It lies heavy. Yeah. You know? And so we, we have to take this. So I feel like our fathers have dropped the ball. Well, not feel, according to what's written. They dropped the they ball. They dropped the ball. And uh, we, 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 so we, we, we're trying to pick it up. Right. Because uh, we fall, apples don't fall far from the same tree. But right. Those right. Know better must do better, and so these things are written for our example. Right. So we have to do better than what our fathers did. Right. You know. and My brother, what do you think? We are here. Pretty. Why we are here? Why we are here this in this country. country? This is not our country. That's right. That's right. This is not our land. Mm. Why do you think we are here? Mm. Scattered to the four corners. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it's the cast of our forefathers. That's why we, not the four mothers. They didn't say yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's <laughs> four mothers. It's four mothers. We want to put, we want to put a lot on our sisters. <laughs> oh yeah. But it's really no. uh, about us. Yeah, our yeah. sisters is out of it completely. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we, we need to we need to step up. Yeah. Uh, and do these things, but we have to get knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have to have knowledge. But you know what, my brother? You know. Our sisters are waiting on us to step up and be men right. of righteousness. Mm. That's what our sisters are waiting on. That's a fact. That's right. Yeah, for them to push us along too. Right. Because our sisters are there for us. If we fall, they catch us. All right? the time. Exactly. All the time. You're going to be, the woman's going to be what you make her to be. Mm -hmm. and you, if that's what you want to do, is listen to provocative music and pictures depicting your sisters uh, as. Uh, nothing more than sexual objects mm. and going over the top with it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're not just subtle, over the top. Oh, yeah, no, that's no, and, and, and there's no so, so, how can you expect other men to respect you? Mm. You don't even respect your, 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 your wife, and your mother, your sisters. Mm. We don't even think like that. Mm. Like we've right. lost our way that's right. in this generation, in this world, in, in this country. We've lost our way. Mm -hmm. We are truly, we are truly the lost. Sheep mm. of the house of Israel. Right, yeah. We are truly lost, Indeed. and we need the good shepherd. We got to go. We got to. If you hear his, if you hear his words, mm. then Yahweh is going to call you to him. Mm -hmm. right. But if you if you don't if you don't hear him, well, you're not of Yahshua. Mm. You're not of Yahweh. Mm. So don't get angry. Don't get angry. We're going to do our job. Of course, we're going to just lay it out. So we're talking about in verse in, in chapter Romans chapter nine verse four. Everything, the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, mm -hmm. right? So he gave the law to Israel, the mm -hmm. oracles. Mm -hmm. He gave those covenants, no other nation mm -hmm. but Israel, correct? That's right. Then it says the service of God. Nobody can serve Yahweh but his saints. That's right. Don't you understand that? You cannot come before Yahweh. Now, you can come before God in your religion any way you want. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about your religion. Now that's on you. We're talking about we're, we're, we're Jews. We're, we're Israel. We know these, these are things that have been written 
And, this, and these words are going to be a blessing to all the nations who lash on. But if you don't lash on, well, that's your loss. I hate to say that loss ain't going to be what you think it's going to be. You know what, my brother? You know what? Um, people that uh, mistake uh, making, um, they don't realize that he is the, cre the, 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 the creator of all creation. You understand? Mm -hmm. But he is the Elohim of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. You have to come under that umbrella for you to be saved. Man. That's that's you, that's it. You he is the Elohim, he's the creator of all things. Yeah. Great, small. Yeah. Everybody and all the people. All different nations. Yes, he okay. is that great. But he sanctified and set apart a nation mm -hmm. unto himself. Mm -hmm. Yes. And became their God, their yes. Elohim. Mm -hmm. Right, but he, and he, but he still left a foot. He, 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 he still left the door open for the nation. Yeah, yeah, three for sure. His mercy, yeah, his mercy is extended to them. Right, you know. we went over that uh, when we were with some Shabbats ago, uh, when the, the kingdom was open to the Gentiles in Acts ten mm -hmm. through 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 the Roman centurion mm -hmm. Cornelius. Mm -hmm. Right, we right. mm -hmm. talk about that in detail. That's right. Because what this was a Gentile, but he 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 worshipped the God of Israel, mm -hmm. Yahweh. Arms came up. He gave arms. Mm -hmm. he, he built the. You know, we, we we determined in our discussion that he is the same centurion that we're not off base that was mentioned in Luke seven, mm -hmm. and that he had built the synagogue. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the people. Mm -hmm. So when we look at these things, that the service of God, the service of Elohim, and the promises. Now that's just in verse four. Wrap it up in verse five. Because see, these words are powerful. Mm -hmm. See, if you just read over, you know, you're not even thinking. You can't find anything in here about any other nation or any other religion. This, we don't have a religion. This is the culture given to us. So we're not, we don't practice a religion where everybody can just join up. We are the people. So, but you can, if, if, if you are, if you, if you are humble and Yahweh's called you from any nation, you know, what did, what did he say in Acts 10? Uh, that uh, he'll, he'll receive any man. That's right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. But you got to do it the way Yahweh said do it. Okay. You got to find you a Jew, a, a Messianic Jew. You got to find somebody like us. But you hear this word. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately get your baptism. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Brother Obadiah? Yes, sir. You know, I've been thinking, uh, my brother, what um, you know, Obadiah said about he, um, he provide a way for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about it and, you know, realizing that there's no place written in this book where you get salvation without sacrifice. Right, mm -hmm. right. It comes in order. Right. The Mishiach sacrificed for the children of Israel. Now the children of Israel want to sacrifice for the entire world. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. That's must, right. must Yahshua bear the torture stake alone? <laughs> you mm -hmm. going to sit up in here and tap dance into the kingdom? Oh, no. You got to go through something. It's, oh, it's, not, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. The servant that was giving the talents, and he, he he said, "I buried it. Uh, I, uh, hid, I hid my master's talents." Mm -hmm. But let's see what the judgment was for him. He said, take, "Take that which was his and give it to the other one that multiplied his." And cast them into what? Cast them into the outer darkness. Come on now. So you I'm see, no, go ahead. So we I'm sorry. Not to y'all for your work. Yeah. Got to be profitable servants. Yes, sir. And I think these are the things that we have to understand. Uh, well, I go. I keep the Sabbath, and somebody said I go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Well. So that, that, that's so what? Mm -hmm. That's your duty to keep the Shabbat. Yeah. It's your duty to keep these commandments. It's mm -hmm. your duty. Don't ask, don't, Yahshua said, why are you going to ask? If you just do what's, he doesn't have to thank you for doing what mm -hmm. you're obligated to do. Mm -hmm. And then Ecclesiastes 12, slow mo wrote what? That the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments. Fear Yahweh and keep, keep the commandments. Right. The whole duty of man. That's it. So Yahshua breaks it down, breaks it down, breaks it down further in the parable. Mm -hmm. And he says, well, if your servant is working, and after he finishes his work outside, does he come and sit and make his table eat first? No. Mm -hmm. He then pre he prepares your meal first. Mm -hmm. And after you have drunk and eaten, then he can go. Yeah, okay. But does the master thank the servant mm -hmm. for doing his job? Mm -hmm. No. So same thing. He don't thank him. So when we call ourselves, well, I just, I do this, do this, uh, don't expect the pat on the back. Yahshua said, you don't, that's your duty. If that's if all you do is what's obligated, then you are unprofitable, sir. You ain't brought no profit, mm. no, to the kingdom. That's right. 
I need some music. Yeah. I need some interest. I need, interest. I need some interest. interest. You yeah. hid your light under a bushel. Mm. You hid your talent. Mm. And then you come across people every day that need to hear about this word. They need to hear about Yahweh. They need to hear who they are. That they're the children of Israel. They need to hear that Yahweh loved them so much that he had already, from the foundation of the earth, mm. set up a redeemer mm. to come along like Moshe to take away, to bring you back to the Father. Mm, and if man. you don't open up your mouth, and Yahweh is giving you a spirit to do these things, what was us? Yeah. yeah. And then it's, but it's not only our uh, words. It's our deeds, our actions. More it's importantly. Our, more importantly, sure. our walk. This is what's sure. going to show and, 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 and convince people or, or, or even uh, want a person to use to say, man, to, to, to intrigue them. What, what would, 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 would prompt them to even want to see if, if we're doing just what everybody else is doing? Or walking like all the, how, 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 I can't even say walking like all the nations walk because when I see Israel today, I see Israel off worse into some things than than, than what the nations are off into because they're doing it with knowledge. You doing it with knowledge, yeah. Mm. yeah. So worse off, you know. And that's so you're saying on you, you got to be careful. Yeah, we, we, we got to be very careful. And 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 but just wrap up that way what he said. And uh, mm. you, you're reading from Romans nine one through five, and and we're confirming that mm -hmm. what you said earlier that. Yahweh gave this to us, our forefathers, okay. Israel. Let me um, just read from verse 4 again. Okay, please. Through, yeah, okay. So I, can properly I won't interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. It's just a spirit, man. Praise God. Verse 4. Who are Israelite to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of Elohim, and the promises? Whose are the fathers and of whom are us concerning the flesh? Christ came, mm -hmm. who is over all, Elohim blessed forever. Yeah, Amen. That's, that's it right there. Beautiful. Beautiful who words, are the fathers? Yeah. Of our fathers and of the flesh, Christ came, meaning he came through Israel. Mm -hmm. If you go back and look on, on some of our classes and show, we got a new moon mm -hmm. that's entitled, Unto Us a Child is Born, that's and the true. Us is Israel. Mm -hmm. So go back and check that out. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we, you know we're, we're trying to do do these things, but um, I just wanted to go there so we can kind of start this. What did the Spirit move this thing? Yes. Because sometimes we have a plan and, and the Spirit takes us a different direction. But uh, you are talking to, we are the, we're, we're saints. Yep. We are, we're, we're Yahweh's people. Yep. We're priests. Yep. We're not patting ourselves on the back. We've been, uh, that's what our job is to do. So now, yeah, we are we are here to do our job. That's it. We're not going to let nothing stop stopping yeah. us from doing our job. Exactly. That's right. Yahweh called us to do things. Yeah. And so that we have to do them, and we have to um, be bold. That's right. Uh, we can't be afraid. Yahweh, Yahweh ain't giving nobody mm. the spirit of fear this table. No. no. So we should fear Yahweh. That's right. Not men. That's right. So we ought to fear Yahweh. We ought to fear Yahweh. Right. I'm going to fear Yahweh. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And. Um, did you put your cup? You, you had your cup on? I know you had your cup. Did you, did you take it off? I know you had it on. I want to make sure. <laughs> uh, make sure your brother, yeah, yeah, I know you had put it there. Uh, before we, when we prayed earlier, we prayed before we come on uh, to go live. So, and I, I didn't want him to say later on, <laughs> when we get on, why you take my cup on? You'll be all over me. So I don't want to, but I don't want the wrath. Hey, but you know what, my brother? Sometimes when the spirit does take taking us, you know, grab hold of us. Yes, sir. To present something to the viewers out there. Right. You know, nothing else matters. That's the way yeah. you know, that's, that, that's that's best. So, uh, for those of you who have been viewing um, our classes on the Sabbath, you know that we we've, we've been going we're in the Book of Genesis. We mm -hmm. we started our discussion from the Book of Genesis, mm -hmm. and our classes uh, from the very first class. If you go to face uh, Facebook, or you look at YouTube. Uh, Instagram, yes. you'll see the, the, the classes are in chronological order. That's right. Uh, the first class that we discussed, we, it was entitled Creation. And then the second class was entitled The Fall of Man. And the third class, um, The Wages of Sin. Mm -hmm. And we did two classes, mm -hmm. part one and part two. Now, under that Wages of Sin, you may find one of the classes there's no audio. But so don't. But go to the next one, and it's. it's, it's I think we deleted it. I apologize. Mm -hmm. But it's the wages of sin, uh, one and continued two, and today's class is the Gen is Genesis of the nations, 
Genesis of the Nations. And uh, last week, we, we wrapped up the wages of sin. And we were basically, it was, um, well, not basically, it, we wrapped up about the flood, mm -hmm. Noah, the Noah and the flood, and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Um, that ultimately, the, mankind was, in, uh, Yahweh was, what's the word? He was uh, grieved or. He mm. repented. He repent, you know. Yeah. And that he, he had even there. created man right. on the earth. Right. Because he says every thought of man was evil. Continual. Continual. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you, your, with your thoughts come action. Mm -hmm. Thoughts are living things. So, so what you think it? What's so what a man think it? That's what he is. Mm -hmm. right? And we broke down in those classes how the uh, the holy seed, which is of the line of Seth, mm -hmm. is right. That we know it's another seed. That's the serpent. Mm -hmm. That's through Seth. Or I mean Cain. Cain. I apologize. Mm -hmm. The holy seed is through Seth. That wicked serpent seed is through Cain, mm -hmm. who slew his brother. Mm -hmm. Right, so we was just we recap something. We want to just recap a little bit of some of the things that we talked about last week. Um, one of the things uh, that we had to, and we're, we're going to just let you know when you read this book, you might have come across other books in your discussion, and um, and that's that's not that's not scriptural, mm -hmm. and that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. So. I, I so we saw something in the book and we brought those things up in Genesis I think it's in Genesis 9 um, uh, let me make sure we was in uh, make sure where we are um, in Genesis let me see let me make sure we got there um, let me see where we had the uh, maybe it's 8 um where, 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 uh, where we're talking about the uh, the giants in the earth here. We'll be um, 26. Okay. Where you're talking about the sun? Yes. Yeah, okay. You know, the way Genesis that, chapter 6. six. Yeah, in Genesis chapter 6, I apologize. Mm -hmm. We were, we, 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 we looked at certain things mm -hmm. that um, uh, before the, before Yahweh brought the flood, mm -hmm. there were, there were people. You know, you had, uh, obviously, people to earth. And we talked about it at the very beginning. Some people think in chapter six is talking about what uh, angels slept with human women mm -hmm. when they read these things and mm -hmm. had children. Mm -hmm. um, and verse one it talks about these things. Um, the and it came to pass that men began to multiply on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and daughters were born unto them. And two that the sons of Elohim saw the daughters of men mm -hmm. that they were fair and they took them wives of all of which they chose. Mm -hmm. Now what can you tell us when people just quickly, uh, anybody just pick up on that because there, there, there's folklore out here and myths mm -hmm. that's saying that these sons of Elohim are angels mm -hmm. and they went and uh, had children with human beings mm -hmm. and the offspring of those uh, mm. The offspring became giants, mm. uh, as it said in verse four. Mm -hmm. It gives me the it gives me the, uh, the, the 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 thoughts of uh, Greek mythology. Right. They talk about uh, these gods, so called mm -hmm. gods. They come, they came down, and they and they breeded with the women, mm -hmm. mated with the women, and had offspring. Mm -hmm. And they called them uh, demigods or half breeds. Mm -hmm. This is the same. They, they're trying to incorporate this mythology into the book, mm -hmm. which is not a part of our culture. So. Right, right. See, that's that's, see, that's important to know that demigods. Mm -hmm. And you kind of say they kind of run their culture and beliefs, and mythology. And that was tied to what we were dealing with when we were reading the Apocrypha. Uh, I'm sorry, when we were reading the Book of Enoch. Yeah, that's right. right. In regards to that, yeah. exactly. We read the Book of Enoch mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. And and we wonder we read it out loud, and so when you look at uh, someone tells you uh, in verse four, re, 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 somebody read that, brother Obadiah, can you read that? Uh, Genesis chapter six, verse four. We're just doing a quick little recap, uh, yes, so we want to uh, talk about these giants. Mm -hmm. 
Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of Elohim came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so someone tell me about the, uh, we're looking at these giants. Mm -hmm. Now, are they talking about giants? Uh, you know, gig gigantic beings? <laughs> uh, men, men that are gigantic to, of height? It's not man. Anybody? Yo, go look. I don't, you tell me. So, but where do they get that from? Okay, okay. Let's go. But, go ahead, brother. I want to you go say it. Uh, well, I was just gonna say that to the concordance referred to uh, these giants as meaning tyrants mm -hmm. or bullies. Mm -hmm. Okay, men of great stature. Mm -hmm. So now you said something earlier, brother Obadiah, about reading is one thing, study is another. That's now, if you're studying the scriptures, you need to purchase. Uh, a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. I don't know if anyone can see my book. Oh yeah, they can see. It. This is what you need to have, and so in this book, this 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 Strong's Concordance is going to tell you what those words, those Hebrew words mean, mm -hmm. so you can have a good understanding. Mm -hmm. So when we're reading in Genesis chapter four, and it says there were giants. Now, mm -hmm. if you just read that. I guess a logical right. belief would be thinking because we know about the, the jolly green giant, the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Right. There was a big giant up there. And he right. climbed to the Beanstalk, mm -hmm. got into the giant, and things like that. That's folklore. 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 Yeah. And you're thinking, wow, mm -hmm. things like that existed too mm -hmm. in biblical times. Right. But when you get your Strong's Concordance and it refers you to the word Nepil, and this is, you, if you got your Concordance, look, it, it's found. Under H5303. H5303. The pill. And it says, a bully or a tyrant. Mm. It doesn't, this giant doesn't refer to human beings that are gigantic mm. in size, uh, of size and stature. Well, we, read, we read of men of, uh, of stature in the book. That, we read about Goliath. That's right. And other men who were tall. So, 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 so we understand men that were tall. Right. He's a tall guy. Yeah, but this what, what, what they're talking about, these giants, that's something different. Okay. Yeah. So these these giants. Uh, so you wonder where they get, get all those ideas from. Right. Okay. right. So, you know, they get it, mainly they get it from the book of Enoch. Mm -hmm. And if you can touch on that a little bit on a, in chapter 7. Can you put book of Enoch? Enoch? Can you put that so they can see it? Yeah. You might need to hold it. Oh, no, you're going to pull it up. <laughs> yeah, you can pull it up. Let's do it. Yeah. Go ahead and show them so they can. There's a book. This book, the book of Enoch, uh, is a book that was written in antiquity. Mm -hmm. um, but the issue is um, is this a canonized, is this scripture? Now, I can't see it behind me, but I'm quite sure it's up. Oh, yeah. But uh, it just shows you the book of Enoch, and there's several publications of the book of Enoch. Mm -hmm. Now, from our studies, we know that this book was written sometime during the second temple period, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of the second mm -hmm. of uh, the second temple period, uh, somewhere between 500 BC and 70 AD. Mm -hmm. It was in the middle period. Oh yeah. Right? So, but you have to do your study. You, know, you don't do your studies about the book of Enoch. Mm -hmm. So you would know in this time period, you know, the Greeks that came into the land, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things that came into Israel that had uh, spread their empire. Uh, through across Judea, Israel. Mm -hmm. So we want to know, so going back, what about these giants in the book of Enoch? Would you mind clap, going, read from the book of Enoch, brother Uriah. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting bumbling my words. I'm so, I'm so excited. You know, you, you know what, We want to just recover this again. You know, our people, you know, if they, all, they just need to compare the Bible with the book of Enoch. Right. And, you know, try to make some sense why the book of Enoch and what the book of the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. And then you go from there. Mm -hmm. Well, let me go ahead and um, read um, chapter 7. Oh, you yeah, have an English book? You want to read that one? I have it. Okay. 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 Let's just, I'm, there. I'm, let me, okay. I'm here, here. Enoch chapter 7. I'm going to pick it up from verse 1. Mm -hmm. And all the other together with them took unto themselves wives. They're talking about these um, angels. These angels that come down. You know, that people claim in the from the book of um, the Bible, chapter six, the son of God. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're saying these are angels. Okay, so let's see, see what the book of Enoch say about these so-called, I said so-called, you know, um, son of God who are um, angels that came down to sleep well um, with the women of, um, on, on the earth. Okay, um, let's pick it up back from verse 1. Mm -hmm. And all the other together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one. And they began to go in unto them and to defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms and enchantments and the cuttings of roots and make them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant and they bare great giants whose height was 3,000 L's. 3,000 L's. Mm -hmm. So now they're telling you that a spiritual being, right, uh, came down mm -hmm. and co-mingled with a human woman, mm -hmm. women, and they had children. Mm -hmm. And the height of these children when that gets when they grew was three thousand L's. Mm -hmm. But an older dying, what's the height? If, if three thousand L's, if you convert that to our current measurement, they, they, it, it roughly was two miles. <laughs> two miles. Yeah. So you're telling me there were beings hmm. walking around the yeah. earth two miles high. And what did those beings do, brother? Uh, tell me about this. Read from that book. What did those giants do? Where, where are we? Uh, just like, think, but they, where are they today? Well, not only that, tell mm -hmm. them what they were doing. Mm -hmm. What did the giants do? So we want to get through the full, a good understanding. We touched on this last week. But let's go ahead and continue. After there were 3,000 L's, and what happened? Verse 4. And the giant turned against them and devoured mankind. I think you missed something before that. Mm, verse 3. Who consumed all the acquisition of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, uh, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. So they were, the human beings at that time were feeding them. Yeah. All their, I guess, all their crops and mm -hmm. food, etc. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, they couldn't, they couldn't fill them up enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then they turned, that, Continue to read. They turned on the men, mm -hmm. human beings, right? Yes. And what happened? And they began to sin against birds, mm -hmm. against beasts, reptiles, fish, and to de uh, devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Mm -hmm. Going back there, you said they turned on men. Mm -hmm. What did they do to men? What did they do? I want people to hear this. What did they, they devour? They, they devour, devour mankind. Let, let's read it all now. Make sure yeah. we cover it all. They so, devour mankind. So they started eating the people. Yeah. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. They just started eating people. And then they turned, they, 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 I guess they were eating the animals and everything. Mm -hmm. just, just going berserk. Mm -hmm. And then they, did you say they turned on themselves? Yeah. They killed, they started killing one another? <laughs> they had blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Said they, 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 they began to eat one another, or devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. See that? And drink the blood. So these were angels. Yeah, these are the seeds of angels. You know what I mean? These are children of the, so the angels uh, had blood, they're saying. Well, and in order to, created. yeah, they had to have blood in order to, yeah, I follow you. They had to have blood in them. They had to have seed in them. Mm -hmm. So they blood. Had to have yeah, they, they got they, they two, two miles long. And, you know, did they have superpowers? Or, mm. or I mean, and not being facetious, but like, where are we going with this? Right. You know. So we have to understand that this 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 may fall into what is called a, a Jewish faith. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that we're saying, or that with things that people write things, and, and they're calling themselves filling in the gaps mm -hmm. that were not discussed in the book that these giants. But the, but when you read the the interpretation in the, of mm -hmm. what a giant is in the scripture, that word means a bully or tyrant. That means other. Now let's break it down. We broke it down last week, mm -hmm. but let's go back now to verse one. They said the children, the sons of God. Mm -hmm. The sons of Elohim. That's not angels. We we made that we discussed that clearly mm -hmm. last week. Not angels. That's right. So who are these uh, sons of Elohim? Mm -hmm. Who are they? Let the brother. Okay. Okay. okay, you want to go there with it, or you want to rush? No, what I wanted to do, um, I wanted to continue a little bit more to see what happened to these women that laid with the so-called angel. Mm -hmm. You know, are these giants who they claim to be angels okay. Okay. in the book of Enoch? Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to we're going to go to verse um, chapter. Read that one. chapter chap nineteen. Chapter nineteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, so, I think it's only three verses in the okay. book, from the book of Enoch. Verse, oh, chapter nineteen, verse mm -hmm. one. 
And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits assuming many different forms, and defiling mankind, and shall lead them astray into sacrifices, into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged, till they are made an end of. Mm -hmm. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Mm. Mm. You can look on the, uh, if, you, if you look at your screen, uh, there's, so now they're telling us what, Uriah? <laughs> they became <laughs> sirens. Yeah, they're saying the women seduced the angels. Mm. But when you read the book of Enoch, if you read all of that, the 10 angels, they plotted. Mm -hmm. They wanted the women, mm -hmm. the sons, they wanted the human women, and they plotted mm -hmm. among themselves. So let us stay up to thinking again to see these images. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it for a while, but um, just let them hold for a minute. So these sirens, mm -hmm. uh, this is what they got turned, the, the, the women who slept with the, the angels mm -hmm. were turned into sirens. Mm -hmm. Now you find out the definition, we, we went over that uh, last week, uh, a siren, uh, can somebody read that out or I got it? Yeah, you yeah. You know, so when you find out what a siren is, but look at the, you know, look at it. So wait a minute, now this don't sound like nothing in the Bible. This sounds like the brother said about Greek mythology, because mm. right? that's what that is. Yeah, uh, that's what that is. When you look up the term a siren, and uh, where they come, many of you have heard this, the song of the sirens, mm. and um, and that's what we're trying to figure out. What? How does that mesh this Greek stuff? In the Hebrew culture, right? Mm. You don't have anything about nobody being turned into something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In the book. So, say, uh, what is it, you want to read it? Yeah, go ahead. You read it, bro. It A says, siren. Um, it says, in Greek mythology, the sirens were dangerous creatures who lured nearby sailor, sailors with their enchanting music and singing voices to shipwreck on the rocky coasts of their islands. Mm. It is also said that they can even charm the winds. Mm. Yeah. So, and you, if you read Homer's Odysseus, I think uh, Odysseus, That's right. he uh, in the Greek mythology, his men are almost lured into the rocks mm -hmm. by the sirens. That's right. So, you know, okay, brother, now I, I, I'm gonna. What do you see here? That's something that. That's not scripture. That's not. That's nothing our people got into. No, no. So now you got to go back in. When did these stories? When was the book? Of Enoch written, mm. and I said, based on the studies, it was written around this. They call it the Second Temple Period. Mm. The Second Temple Period is the a time frame mm. when the children of Israel came out of Babylon, mm -hmm. and they came back out of Babylon by the Persian. What's his name? Cyrus. Uh, Cyrus mm -hmm. uh, let the children of Israel go. Yeah, it's a decree. Yeah, it's a decree. It's a decree. Mm -hmm. Along our forefathers to go back into the land. Mm -hmm. Gave them provisions. To do Gave them provisions. Bridge, yeah. Etc. And we know once you read that, you'll 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 see this. Yes. So this is a time. Um, that's that time period. So when you say the second temple period, mm -hmm. they went back in and rebuilt the temple. Mm -hmm. They started with the walls, etc. But during that period, mm -hmm. it's a time frame. Around 500 yeah. something BC. 504 B, yeah. To yeah. 70 AD. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say 70 AD, you know, Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans. That's mm -hmm. right. And the Mashiach had already come uh, into the earth, done his ministry, and fulfilled those things written about him. Written about him, that's right. And was uh, died and was resurrected and ascended. Mm -hmm. And they'll say the book of, so in that period, this is when this book was written, mm -hmm. in the middle part. Of the second period, the second temple period. Mm -hmm. So you can see the Greek influence mm -hmm. all over the book of Enoch. That's right. But there's nothing written in the scriptures that Enoch wrote anything. Mm -hmm. Right? That he walked with out Elohim. Mm -hmm. and he was no more. He was translated. That's all that was written. That's all that was written. So now all these other things, but again, I'm gonna turn it back over to you, you right. So you can you show some more of these photos of these uh sirens? You know, so you can these are things that are readily available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, online. You know, you you can you can see them. You can just leave them up there if you want. But the bottom line is that book of Enoch. Um, mm -hmm. You even went in there and showed last week where it conflicts. It conflicts itself. That's right. The, 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 didn't you read where the head angel of the conspiracy? Mm -hmm. He said that what, what was the angel name that brought uh, uh, Sam Jaza. That brought sin in the earth. Can, yeah. you go, can you go there just to show this conflict? I think that was an interesting 
Mm-hmm. Example last week. Uh, was it was it chapter ninety eight verse four? And that angel. No, that was. Uh, he was saying that mankind at one point he's saying um, well, they, the, they get, um, um, when it when it comes to sin. Read, read sixty eight or uh, sixty nine verse six. So what we get from that? So you're gonna see two different dichotomies here. Yeah. All right. Chapter sixty nine verse six. Verse six. Mm-hmm. All right. Verse six. And the third angel was named Gabriel. He it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death, mm-hmm. and he led astray Eve. Wow. Okay. Now that was another. That, now there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so now go ahead. Uh, no, 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 go ahead. No, no, no. You said something about that last week. About okay. Well, but he led away. He That's not it. only he led away Eve, but the book of Enoch is saying the angel they came down in the time of Jared. Mm-hmm. So if they came down in the time of Jared, oh, this angel is going to get to to Eve. To Eve. So, so he wasn't a serpent that went to Egypt. So, so they, so they saying the book is alive. <laughs> oh man! There you go. Oh man! You go. <laughs> so, so you begin to look at this thing. You got to uh, when people come to you with different stories. Mm-hmm. God had a wife and yeah. everything. Y'all wait. Y'all, I mean, they just they picking these things up. They're not even vetting. Mm-hmm. A father, they don't. They don't have the knowledge to even vet what they're reading. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you don't have a grounding. In the Torah and the prophets, mm-hmm. right. well, what can you tell anybody? Mm-hmm. You can't tell anybody. This this book is 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 proven to be and historically correct on all fronts from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely, That's right. historically. Man. That's right. This this book is real. So now the things that you may read from. So we have to touch on the book of Enoch because people will go. Through, oh, well, then they want it. But the book of Enoch says or. There were giants walking around two miles high, mm. Mm. terrorizing the creation. Wow. Mm-hmm. Creation, right? Eat beef, eat mm. each other. They were just they're drinking, they're drinking their own blood. <laughs> you know, I would like you to read one more verse again um, in the book of Enoch. Mm. You know, sorry to break you, my, uh, my, no, 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 my no, Alan, but um, chapter ten, verse eight. You know, to show all oh, conflict in this book, even against itself. Right. The book of Enoch, you know, um, chapter 10, verse 8. Verse 8. Mm-hmm. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel to him that's ascribe right. all sin. Okay. That's interesting. That's, okay, Azazel has, they said, this angel, mm-hmm. all sin is ascribed to him. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when we read the Torah, <laughs> we know that Adam right. mm-hmm. and Eve, Broke the first law. That's right. And they allowed sin to come into the earth, mm. which allowed Satan to become the what? Prince of this earth. Mm. Right. But doesn't it say something else? It says, uh, when you, okay, that says Azrael yeah. took um, sin to earth, but in another place it says. It said, God, the one that. Um, yeah. Did. yeah. Well, can you go there? Can you send him there? Yeah. Um, so we want to just show the balance of it. Yeah. You have to. Go to 98, um, chapter 98, verse 4. So he just read where Azrael brought sin into the earth. Mm-hmm. Right? All sin. Yeah. But now you're going to, in, in the same book of Enoch, you're going to where? Enoch what? Uh, chapter 98, verse 4. Verse 4. It says, I have sworn unto you, you sinners, as a mountain has not become a slave, mm-hmm. and a hill does not become the handmaid of a woman. Mm-hmm. Even so, sin has not been sent upon the earth, but man of himself has created it, and <laughs> under a great curse shall they fall who commit it. Oh, okay. Man. In the same book, mm-hmm. did man bring it? Mm-hmm. Did man bring sin on earth? Mm-hmm. Or did this angel, angel. Azrael? That's what it's yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, Azrael. Azrael. And, uh, so, so you, yeah, that's why you have to study. Reading, if you, you have to read, uh, with uh, under the uh, understanding, right. mm-hmm. you have to um, know that when you're reading this book, you have to study what the brother said. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't study and know what questions to ask, mm-hmm. you're going to be led astray. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, my and that's the that's the and then you're going to start doubting everything. Mm-hmm. The next thing you know, you're uh, well, maybe maybe there is no Mashiach. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe that so they'll have you questioning. Uh, the mighty, the, 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 the Yahweh and his mercy That's right. through his son, Yahshua Mashiach. Um, so we have to, we, we have to bring these things up because if you, reach, if you hear it here, 
you'll know that we're not ducking and jo- the, um, uh, the, the dodge or anything. We want you to know. Right. But, but do you have anything else? Oh, well, well go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you, uh, no. are you finished with the book of Enoch? Yeah, because I wanted to... Um, what say, you touch on that? I want to just touch on something, if I can find it, in, in Acts. Mm. And um, so he's telling you that just this is something... Um, I think I can find it here. Acts chapter 8. Um, let me see. Uh, it's, it's, it's Stephen. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I think the, the bottom line is we, we you got to be somewhere where somebody can. Uh, uh, verse 26. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you got to be taught. So you can read. But if you're going places, they're teaching. They're not teaching you about the book, mm-hmm. but they're teaching you about um, mo- motivating you. Mm-hmm. And God, you know, it's a motivational speeches. Basically, right. it's mm-hmm. gonna be all right, right? Type of thing. And that's my. It has its place. Yeah, yeah. place. But we're in the latter days now. Mm-hmm. Right. And Yahweh is calling His people. Mm-hmm. He may be calling you. So Acts eight, mm-hmm. um, verse twenty, verse twenty six. If uh, and this is Philip. And his encounter with the Ethiopian, but the Ethiopian, he was going to Ethiopia. He's a Jew. That's right. Let's don't get that mistake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Verse twenty six. Mm-hmm. Somebody uh, who who read that? Anybody pick that up? Verse twenty six. Uh, verse twenty six. Acts chapter eight, verse twenty six. And the angel of Yahweh spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of Ethiopians, who have the charge of all her treasure. And who had the charge. Well, yes, yeah, the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So let's let you know that he's a Jew. Mm-hmm. He's not, he's a Jew living in Ethiopia. That's right. And we keep, have, keep our, it along. Mm-hmm. Now we got our brothers are in Ethiopia right now. And they are called uh, Falasha, mm-hmm. right? Beta Israel. Uh, Beta, Israel, Beta Israel, right? So Israel is still in Africa. Mm-hmm. We're, the house of Judah is over here mm-hmm. under the curse is scattered. Mm-hmm. So this is nothing new. This is nothing strange, mm-hmm. right? You were just Ethiopian. Well, he was a Jew living in Ethiopia, right? Working for the queen of Candace, the queen, right? Mm-hmm. So let's see what's going on. Continue, verse, verse 28. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Esaias the prophet. Mm. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Esaias and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Mm. And he said, O oh, can I, except some man should, should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up. And sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer. So open he not his mouth. He's reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah mm-hmm. in chapter 53. That's correct. Right? That verses 7 through 8, right? Some mm-hmm. of the Bibles may even have that. Yeah. Okay, brother. Um, verse um, verse 33. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him, Yahshua. Boom. That's it. Preach to him, Yahshua. Mm-hmm. See, if you don't know how to go back into the scriptures, why should I study the Old Testament? Because you don't, how can you even, uh, with with faith, say that there is, that, that, that the one that's come is, is the Messiah. Mm-hmm. The, the prophets tell well, you about let, it. Let me ask you a question, my elder. When the Mishiach was alive, what was he using to teach the people? See there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He wasn't walking around. There was no Bible. Mm-hmm. No. They, they, they were taught in the synagogue. They read from the scripture, scripture. the scrolls, the scriptures. And That's correct, my elder. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. So here, you got Philip. Mm. Don't reveal his teaching the Mashiach 
He said, preach that, they preach unto him that the man that the prophet was talking about is Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Continue to read that. Um, verse 36. Mm -hmm. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou makest. Thou mayest. Thou mayest, yeah. And he answered and said, I believe that Yeshua HaMashiach is the son of Elohim. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Hmm. And when they were come up out of the water, the spirit of the Adonai caught away Philip that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. Come on now. Praise God. So you know what you got to do. It's, it know, what you said earlier, Brother Obadiah, about the name of Yahshua? This is the only name on the earth. On the mm. name of the earth the right. So you got to understand, it didn't take, but see, that was Yahweh. See, this is, this is the spirit mm -hmm. in work. Mm -hmm. So when you when we're talking about studying and reading, mm -hmm. but you can't read this unless there's somebody to what? Teach you. Mm. This is what we're doing here. Look at, look at what look we're at, trying look to teach. Look, yeah. look, look, my little brother. Look at what verse uh, verse thirty said. See, because we talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. It says, "And Philip ran thither to him and and, and heard him read the prophet he says, right, and said, understand this that which do you understand Thank what you're you. reading? Yeah, you reading? Do you understand what you're reading?" And then mm. he heard, he went on to say, "How can I?" Except some man should guide me. Not this one. And he knows his eyes. Look what he said. Yeah. He said, not he said, how can I? Except some man should guide me. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. There See? you go. You, you, you know, most people, I mean not really most people, you have some people out there gonna say, I don't want anyone to teach me. Mm. Well, you're gonna be in bad shape. Right. Right. You're gonna be in bad shape. That's right. The Messiah taught his disciples. Okay. Yeah. They sat with him. They walked with the Messiah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They heard things that we would never hear. Mm -hmm. Saul sat at the feet of Galilee. Mm -hmm. so yeah. And that was so. And Saul was a Pharisee of Pharisees, right. taught by the best. Mm -hmm. Finding for them for teacher in those times. Exactly. So, so what now? How dare you be so arrogant mm -hmm. to say that you can't teach me nothing? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, maybe you. No, then maybe somebody can't teach you. Mm. Maybe that you are that arrogant <laughs> and full of hubris. Mm. But what you said, my brother, that's why I wanted to go here uh, for that purpose to see that this brother was trying, he was studying, mm -hmm. right? Mm. And this is how the spirit works. The, Yahshua said, no one comes to the Father. Mm. You know, the Father got to send you. The spirit got to bleed you to Yahshua. That's, mm -hmm. right. that's right. And here it is right here in action. But we just read it. The spirit got on him and said, hey, I got one of my people there in that chair. I got somebody in there. I want him to hear this word because mm. I know that's what? Fertile soil. Mm. But when he hear it, right, when you teach him and tell him, he's not going to go through a, a lot of uh, Chang changes, changes with it. Yeah. He's going to be like a little child with it. He uh, said, well, he goes, and by, by the time uh, uh, Stephen, is that uh, Philip, Broke that word down to him that you he had to tell him you got to get baptized in the blood of, and baptized in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach for the remission of sin. Mm, absolutely. So they're going along in the chariot. Mm. Then the brother he don't hear this. He said, "Well, that was some water right there. Why am I waiting?" But look what he said to him. Let's get out. Mm -hmm. Look what he said to him, my little brother. Look at brother. In um in, in <laughs> verse great job. In <laughs> verse thirty six. Yes. He says uh uh. And as they went on their way, they came a certain they came onto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? What does hinder me? Right? I understand. Follow it. Go ahead. So I'm Philip listening. said, If you believe mm. in all in your heart, you may. If you believe. It was a stipulation, though. If. You can't just ba lay hands on you suddenly. So they but I baptized because look, they they I, they baptized babies. Mm. They, they don't have no understanding. What did they even well, sin? What wrong? Well, what sin? What sin? Uh, what sin? They, they, they come in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. You haven't stuck that, but you, you, you a child. You're still under the covering of your family, right. your parents. Now, at some point, you're going to become legal. Mm -hmm. Where Yahweh, so you know the difference between right and wrong. You know the difference between what this book says. So now, 
you don't have to fornicate, and you run there and fornicate, well, what? Now you're accountable. Now you're accountable for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because what you have to understand. Right. You, you got to yeah. understand. Yeah. But nobody never taught me. And some people never been taught right and wrong. Yeah. Mm. But then that's the, that's where the Holy Spirit comes in play. Mm. He'll come in. He'll lead you. He'll mm. send one of us Hebrews or Jews to you. Mm. You might hear this program. You know you're living wrong. You know you got confusion in your life. Mm -hmm. All of us do. You know, yeah. all of us do. We've all fallen short. Yeah, yeah. But you got to follow the the process that's been laid out by Yahweh, right. to, so you can come close to your God. Because He doesn't get the prayers of sinners. No. But He's a merciful Elohim. Yeah, sure. So is. He's merciful. Sure so is. you're just if, if you're out there, but He may just keep you alive just to, for you to tune in today mm. under the here the keepers of the house of life. So you might have to start thinking about what you're doing mm. and how you're doing. Because time, we had a different time, right, brothers? Mm. Absolutely. You know, we were talking about that the other day. Yeah. We, we got to get out here and tell people. What's going on? What's going on? And to do what? Repent. And Repent. Time. And be baptized. And be baptized. That's right. You may not get a second chance. Mm. Well, I got baptized when I was two. Well, you know what? That don't count. Man, we just read that. We just don't count. You got to do things with understanding. You got to understand it. There's only one name under heaven whereby men shall be saved. So who are you going to get baptized on? Well, there's so many names. Yeah. G Jesus, Jesus, mm -hmm. Iesus. If you look at the 1611 King James, the first one, mm -hmm. it has his name. His name is Greek. It's always been Greek. If you look at that 1611, it's pronounced, it's spelled I E S O U S. Iesus. 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 Mm -hmm. And then maybe when the letter J came into the uh, uh, came into the yeah, English language, it, here. Mm -hmm. it became J Jesus or Jesus or or Jesus. 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 So now, but that's not Hebrew, no. is it? No. Messiah was a Hebrew. Yeah. We just read what Paul said. He has what concern mm. uh, about for his brothers who are what Israelites, Israelites. not Greeks. Mm. The Greeks have their history. Right? The Romans have that history. That's right. The British, the Germans, they all have that history. And that's, and, and that's fine. And that's, and that's their history. That's right. But you can't take away our history. Mm -hmm. But our people have been what? Scattered to the four corners of the world. Mm -hmm. and, and But that's written in the book too. That's prophecy. That's prophecy. Yeah. So what we're looking at now, I just wanted to make sure, you know, again, these are some things that we cover. We wanted to give you a, a recap of what we went over dealing with Noah and those terms. But one of the things we... We want to clarify the sons of men. The sons of men are not angels. They are the children of the, they're the holy seed. The, the, the sons of Elohim. The sons of Elohim, yes, that's the seed of what? Seth. That's right. That's the holy seed. Adam to Seth and onward. Mm -hmm. And they reign with the sons, with the daughters of men, mm -hmm. which are the seed of Cain. Mm -hmm. The, you know, men. So you got to understand how that is working. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're, we're moving uh, along. So, again, we're going to get ready now to, to go into the rest of the class. But, again, these are things that, so if someone brings the book of Enoch and you hear certain things, just go ahead and do some study. Question, the, question them. It's not, and we didn't present this to bash. The Spirit didn't bring it to us to bash those who read this book. We, we're trying to get them, to encourage them to. to, to that's why education. That's why education. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, we're not bashing anyone. You know, this, this, this the word is our foundation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, we, we just want to make sure that it's like the book said. We, we got to study to show ourselves approved. See, that's what we want to study to show ourselves approved because for you to get an understanding, the gold standard. It's what Yahweh left thousands of years. Mm. And you end up in America and you're speaking the same language. Mm. Right? The stammering lips. The stammering lips. Yeah. Yahweh had this preserved this book for you. He had the Gentiles to preserve it. So people that call themselves black and colored and Negro, African American, Caribbean, Jamaican, all those lands, mm. they don't know. But it was reserved for you. Mm. If you are, if Yahweh. It's so fit for you to hear this. Mm -hmm. Again, only a remnant. Y'all always going to take us out of here. Mm -hmm. But then we're going to study more about that okay. down the line. But let's get to the class today. The Genesis of the Nations. And we're in the book, again, of Genesis. The beginnings, the origins. Mm -hmm. So, we're, well, we see countries today, right? 
So those these all these countries mm -hmm. had to come from somewhere. That's right. And we know we just read where last week where uh, the only survivors of the flood was Noah and his sons, his three sons, mm -hmm. and their wives, yeah, and Noah's wife, wife yeah. right? Eight people. Mm. That's a very small remnant. Mm. So y'all better keep that in mind mm. when you're talking about Yahweh love it. No, he don't love everything, mm. and you just can't do everything. Yahshua died when you read the book. Yahshua died for many not for all. That's right, Is that right? That's, that's right. I know that's I'm right, but we all read it. That's yeah. Right. And you, if you want to confirm that, open the book. Mm. He didn't die for everybody, everything. For all matter of wickedness, he died for many. Mm. But there's going to be more cast in that lake of fire. Mm. Because he said, broad is the way. Mm. It leads to what? Destruction. Destruction. But narrow is the way. Mm. That leads to, leads to life. And few go there to me. Yeah. Because you know, you're following other doctrines. Yeah. You're worshiping other things. And doing things differently. And Yahweh just may not call you all the way out. I mean, when you read the story, we read that uh, you have vessels of honor. You have vessels of dishonor. But then you also read that the angels rejoice when a sinner repents. Well, praise Yah. So, Come on now. You know, I, so, I, yeah, praise Yah. Yahweh in control. We Yahweh's just, in control. We just want to reach out to the lost sheep and those who Yahweh... Uh, uh, What's the word I want to say? Who he's ordained to yeah. receive, or he's already pre pre predetermined that they're to receive this. Exactly. That, that particular child. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, because we yeah. can't put none of our people down. Mm -hmm. Our people out here doing all kinds of things that are wicked, evil, lawless. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean that they're not going to what? That Yahweh's not going to get to them mm -hmm. and bring them in. That's right. I was able, he brought me in. Did he I'll bring you, brother? I think I'm doing some crazy stuff. Filthy rag. You know, filthy rag. Yeah. He spared my life, allowed me to be here today mm. to speak and to do this. So I have to commit myself. Like Peter said, where can I? He's like, what did the Shiak say? You know, when they was when they gave that doctrine a little bit and, and, the, and some of the disciples turned start walking. Mm. And he looked at the disciples and man said, Are y'all gonna leave me too? You gonna go also? <laughs> you gonna go also? Where should we hear the words of life? Yeah, yeah. We can't. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? That's right. You have the words of life. Yeah. yeah. I can't turn away from Yahshua. Mm. I can't turn away from the Father. Mm. Those are the words of life. Mm. That's right. He said through this, I, I, what is, uh, I got eternal life. Yeah. But I can't walk away from it. Man, you know what? Those brothers were so sincere. Mm. They left their family mm. just to follow the Mishak anywhere. Mm. That's right. That's how strong your faith ought to be. Mm. That's right. That's what Matthew 19 says. So we don't left everybody. That's yeah. Right. What we going to get? Everything. Right. He got a reward for them. He got a reward for them. Yeah. He laid it out beautifully in Matthew 19. Praise. And you can read that. And what they're going to get, what? He said those, in Matthew 19 he says, his disciples, they're going to be sitting on 12 thrones, mm. judging the 12 mm. tribes of Israel. Right. And I was talking to someone what it is to say the twelve tribes of Christians? I said, where did where do y'all come in at? Mm. Where did the see? You have a religion that's not in the book. Mm. That's not. There's no. There's no Islam in this. There's no Christianity in this. I'm, I'm, there's no. It's just the way it is. See, but we know the nations are going to be saved. It was twelve gates in the city, right? Yes, sir. Mm. So they got to go in with Israel. They got to come in with Israel. Yeah. There, there was no gates for the for the, the nations. No, but the nations were written and preordained to be saved as well. Exactly. But how was a mystery to our father. Uh, uh, how, how he was going to do it. Yeah. And here go the Messiah. Here go Yahshua. That's right. Come on now. But mm. you know, once I was talking to a sister, and, and um, you know, I said, why don't you start from where it looks that it said in the beginning. Mm. That's where you need to start from. That's right. And I said, and do me a favor. I said, um, when you read this book, take a, Take out that religious thinking, that mindset that you got, and read the book as a history book. Mm. And then when you see me in a couple of months, let me know. Mm. You know, she Pretty saw sure. me a couple of months down the road. Oh, and she was, sure. Yeah, she was like, you know you were right. Mm. I was like, praise you. Praise yeah, you. praise you. If you read it as a history book, right. you will get more out of the Bible, more than a religious book. Mm. Because it is not a religious book. Right. Mm. It is not a righteous book. That's yeah. a fact. 
So praise, praise y'all for that. So again, so now we're now we're gonna get to the class, mm. our discussion. <laughs> but see, we we, we want to make sure we uh we recap and discuss these things. Mm. Now we're gonna go back to Noah. Noah um, has three sons. Mm -hmm. I think that Yaphet, uh, Shem, and Ham, mm -hmm. right? And they're the survivors, and um, and they've been blessed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. When we get to chapter 10, we're going to get ready to talk about the tables of the nations. And uh, you can probably pull that up. So we're going to cover that uh, so we can just have it there. Show sure. it up. Sure, we don't want to touch on a little bit. Okay, okay. okay. Well, 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 it's, it's, it's going to come. But let's so you come chapter but, but, 9 and uh, chapter 9 first. Okay, well, a little bit. Okay. I don't know uh, where you want to start from. Maybe not all. Maybe that's a lot of part. Okay. Um, let's start at verse, uh, let's go to chapter 9, verse 18. Okay. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, and Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. There's no... That's it. Mm -hmm. Everybody comes from, from these three boys. Mm -hmm. Post-flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 20. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Mm -hmm. And he said, Blessed be, the, blessed be Yahweh Elohim of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Mm. Elohim shall enlarge Yahweh, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Mm. Anybody want to touch on anything there that we just read? No, in on verse twenty six, when he spoke about the uh, curse be 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 Canaan, mm -hmm. a servant of servants he, he shall be. Uh, when Ham was supposedly cursed, they they you know there's a myth going around. They say he was cursed black. <laughs> you're right. You're they right. Say he was cursed black. Right. That you was. Know. But he didn't curse Ham. He didn't curse Ham. Mm. He cursed his grandson. He were, and and we we realize well he curses. His, so his, well, his, why the question is why why did he cur curse? Um, Canaan instead of Am. I mean, Canaan wasn't there. He wasn't even born at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the question is why? Why? Because you got they, they were blessed. Right? Oh, yeah. They, 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 they couldn't take out the blessing. Yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. Yahweh blesses no man curse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go back to verse 1 and, when, and show him that. Mm -hmm. Read chapter 9, verse 1. But, uh, Obed. It says, And Elohim blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Voila. That was his charge. They, right. they had to do that. Right. Yeah. So he can turn around and curse him. Mm -hmm. Ham, you curse. Mm -hmm. And then you know this with that that foolish mindset. Oh, because we are enslaving the children of Israel uh, and conquering the continent of Africa mm -hmm. slowly but surely. Right. So, so we're going to make you uh, uh, being black is a curse word. Right. Mm -hmm. Being black is a curse. See, and that's the rationale mm. they use. And many of our people, they don't understand that, that yeah, Israel is under a curse mm. of Yahweh Elohim, mm. but not because of our skin color. Mm. It's because our fathers broke the covenant right. mm. and would not repent mm. and would not walk rightly, that's uprightly right. before Yahweh in his covenant. Mm. It was always, a, as you said earlier, a conditional covenant. That's right. That's right. We, we had to do and then y'all will be. What? But, 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 yeah. We understand that, that, that these things are going to change too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we're, 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 we're coming on a different path now. That's right. We, we've covered certain things. And now, if you want to know about the blessings, um, I mean, this book talks about that throughout, particularly in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, even here in Genesis, you're going to hear about certain things mm -hmm. that are prophetic things mm -hmm. that are going to happen to us, that happen to Yahweh, Yahweh's people. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't always tell you exactly, you know, why. But when you read on, you say, oh, this is what happened. Mm. And we're doing the same thing today. That's right. Even though we don't know who we are. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah, we don't took his name from us. Mm. He don't took the, the, the culture from us mm. and put us under the brutal hand of our enemies. Mm-hmm. On the ancient, have they very heavily laid Exactly. We found that in Isaiah 47. But mm-hmm. well, there's a day. We're we get ready. Yahweh is these curses are moving up off of us. We're still in this land. Mm-hmm. But Yahweh, we 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 fulfill some things of our own. That we've been here 400 years in America. Mm-hmm. This is where the mainland, where the house of Judah is. All right, we've been here uh six and sixteen, nineteen, mm-hmm. 40 years. Last year, 2019. Mm-hmm. Not last year, but in 2019, that was 400 years. Mm-hmm. But you have to be studying this book to figure out, oh, are, are these just coincidences? Mm-hmm. And I think some people just rather put their head in the ground. Oh, I can't believe, not us, not the lowly Negro, mm-hmm. not the lowly black man. Mm-hmm. We just, but but you know what? Many of them are afraid because they know they got to change. Mm-hmm. That requires accountability. Accountability, yes. Yeah. There it is. Yes. I got to be accountable now. Yes. I don't want to leave. Let this man, let this rule of this this destruction or ruin come up on the masses' hands. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. That, that's what yeah. master. Yeah, he ruling thing. We don't yeah. want to rule. No, you. We were supposed to be a nation of priests, mm. and that's what's going to happen. That's our end mm. when the master comes back. Mm-hmm. We will be what Yahweh said we were going to be. Mm-hmm. A holy. Thing. That's in Genesis. Uh, uh, that's up in uh, uh, Exodus that's nineteen. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's, exactly. Yeah. King a king of priests. Mm-hmm. Yahweh made a proposal mm-hmm. to our fathers. Mm-hmm. If you do, if you That's keep right. these commandments and covenants, right, right, you're gonna be a peculiar people to me, mm-hmm. a nation of priests. Mm-hmm. And Moshe took that marriage proposal mm-hmm. right back to the elders. I was reading this last night mm-hmm. with a friend. Mm-hmm. He took that that pre that proposal back to him, and the elders said, "We're gonna do. We'll do all that you say that Yahweh say." Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then, okay. Right. Tell Moses, Moses went back and told Yahweh. Yeah. He's the mediator of the covenant. Yeah. He went back and said, hey, they accepted it. Yeah. He said, well, tell them to get ready. Don't go into your wives. Get yourself purified. Because I'm going to come. I'm going to present myself. Mm. Just, like, just like Yahshua was saying. And he's an intermediary between Yahweh and his people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, because you can't go directly to Yahweh. No man nah. can't go to Yahweh. No, so he said no. his son. Yeah, and, and yeah. His son gave, gives give, gives us to his father to say keep it. And you see how that conflicts people. Yeah. What the, the, the God talked to me. Mm. God ain't talking to you. Now uh, I'm not saying that you know, he he won't give you an unction a spirit. You know, but he's not. You never heard Yahweh's word. That's what written. You never heard his word. You never seen his form. Mm. And no man has ascended to heaven except he came down from heaven. And it wasn't a man. It was the spirit of Israel came down. And rested upon Yahshua yeah. in the form of a dove. Mm-hmm. Right. So the things that we're talking about, Yahweh is revealing these things to us. This mystery is being re- revealed. Mm-hmm. So that's that's one of the things right there. I'm glad you brought that up to show that, brother, you asked, why did he curse? Mm-hmm. Why didn't he just curse Ham? Ham was already blessed of Yahweh. Yeah. And then, then and, and, it's, and, and as you read the book, when the children of Israel Come, come into the land, the seed of Canaan, uh, Canaan's seed is going to come and fulfill that. I think that was in Joshua. And the book of Joshua. Chapter 9. Chapter 9. So, so you know, and, and that's with the Jebusites, right? Oh, the Gibeonites. The Gibeonites. The Gibeonites. That's right. So we're, we're not going there, but that's, but again, the book proves itself. That's right. That's right. It proves itself. Mm. But some man, how do I know this is Mm. Been fulfilled unless what? Some man show me. Somebody got to teach you. Teach. We were taught. Of course, we were taught well. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. So Praise we're God. so we're here doing the same thing. Yeah, we're doing this, and whatever the Spirit is giving us to do, we're trying to do that. That's right. Right. We're just going to do what we're doing. So anything else up in uh, uh, you want to cover before we go into chapter ten? Um, well, y'all, y'all already um, called a touch on uh, yeah, almost you're, everything. You're yeah, satisfied. Okay. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm okay. okay. Um, now we're going to go into the next step, uh, which is uh, what's happening with the, uh, the, the children of uh, Noah mm-hmm. at this time. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's go ahead and um, read that. Chapter 10, verse 1. Verse 1. And let's go ahead. Are you, is, is it your turn to read, sir? Let me pick up a little. Okay. 
Um, chapter 10. Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. Okay. Okay. Oh, you were reading? I didn't mean to cut you out. Were you, mm-hmm. you want me to read? Oh, right. you yeah, read? He's working on the graphic. You okay. Go, go ahead and read. Let me do the graphic. All right. Okay. He's going to read. Uh, Just tell me when you want me to stop. Okay. Oh, okay. go ahead and start. Right. You got the graphics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. Mm-hmm. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javon, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus. Mm-hmm. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togarmah. Mm-hmm. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. Mm-hmm. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you just read the one through five, mm-hmm. if someone look at the, if you're looking at the uh, graphic up there, mm-hmm. what do we see? I, I, I guess I'm going to turn around. I don't have my computer. But you're looking under Yaphet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it says in verse five, these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in mm-hmm. their lands, mm-hmm. everyone after his tongue and their families in their nations. There's a misnomer that's a foot that says, uh, if you're not a Jew, you're a Gentile. Mm-hmm. Now, that's not right. That's not correct. That's not correct. Now, now, I wonder where they got that from. Hmm. It must from Mr. Webster. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the book describes particular people. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, uh, in my, in, I think when we go back to verse one, uh, the, the oldest son is Yaphet, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Now, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Yaphet, we know that the first son, as we as we by, by studying this book, we know the firstborn son. He gets a double portion. He gets a double portion. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's so right. according to the law. So so you see, there's a lot of Gentiles in the earth. Mm-hmm. So but now you we have Gomer. Now, where, uh, do you have those nations listed out? I do. Anybody? I do. Uh, Gomer, I, it refers back to the Greeks. I'm sorry. Well, Gomer refers back to the Celtic people. Okay. Yeah. So we got the, uh, so you got the, uh, okay. And the Celtic people w- would be called today Europeans or white people. That's correct? correct. Oh, that's okay. correct. And then we have uh, Magog. Mm-hmm. What is, who, who, Magog? Okay, and if you got a Bible, my footnote says from Magog are descended the ancient Scythians mm-hmm. or Tartars, mm-hmm. who are whose descendants predominate in the modern in the modern Russia. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so God, Magog. So now hold on now. So if you would look at the Russians then today, they would be they're considered European, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That's right? And we use that term. The, the descriptive, descriptive white. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so we see here that um, Gomer, uh, they're Gentiles. Magog, out of Europe, Gentiles. Mm-hmm. You were going to say something, brother. Oh, uh, what were you going to say something? No, no, no. And now, and then it says Maida or Madai. Mm-hmm. Is anybody can uh, pull that up? Maida, those people. So, and then um, you know, so you got. And this goes back to the the the, the part. Persians. The Persians? The Gentiles. It, 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 it relates back to the Medes. The okay. Medes, I call them the Medes. Yeah, so the Medes. Yeah, okay. ancient Medes. Yeah. Okay. So that would be out of what? Coming out of Persia. That's right. And mm-hmm. that's what Persia, we know, that's the ancient name for Iran. Right? Mm-hmm. The Iran. And we know that the Iranians are not Arabs, right? Mm-hmm. They're they're Gentiles. That's they right. are Europe. They come out of a out of the Caucasus Mountains. That's mm-hmm. right. And they're of a Hey, they, they may look, somebody look a little different, but they're white people. Mm-hmm. If you want to use that term, mm-hmm. we didn't create that description, but no. that's what we just uh, breaking it on down. Mm-hmm. And then we have here uh, Tyrus. No, Tyrus. So you Tyrus know? is the Italians. Okay. So you got the, the line of Europeans coming out of uh, Tyrus, the Italians. Um, and then. Uh, let's keep on reading here in verse 3. And then the sons of Gomer. Now, Gomer has some sons, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And that's Ashkenaz, mm-hmm. Rephath, and Togamar, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you're looking at uh, these, you know, but these are coming out. Uh, it says, I'm looking at the footnote. It says, from these seven sons of Japheth, 
are descended the Goyim mm -hmm. or Gentile nations. Gentile. Mm -hmm. That's right. Translated heathen. Mm -hmm. 148 times it goes on. The name implies nothing concerning religion, meaning simply non Israelite or foreigner. Right. So the Gentiles, the, you know, the Europeans, and if we want to, and why are they specifically laid out? Because there's a purpose. We don't know how they look right. at this time. Right? Because it's not about, we don't know about how they look. But we know demographically and geographically, mm -hmm. these are the Isles of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And they were divided up in their lands. Right? And they created their nations. Mm -hmm. and those various nations have been set up in different forms, mm -hmm. under different empires, etc. Yeah. to this very day. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. so, so now you understand the genesis of the origins of Yafet's descendants. Mm -hmm. And how they was they spread up in the earth. And even the uh, Gomer, he was talking about Gomer, he referred to them as the Celtics. Mm. And uh, Ireland. Ireland. Scotland. So, and, um, with that, uh, he was talking of the Asia Minor region. Okay, Asia Minor, like Turkey, like Turkey. maybe. That's right. I mean, Togama. Togama was Turkey. Uh, Thank you. Or what was called modern day Syria. Or, mm. Well, Syria, which was called modern day Turkey. Turkey. So, yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, so, wow. So, now you see how, if you didn't, if you, see, I can say the word Gentile, and people without knowledge, they don't, they'll become offended. I'm a Gentile. Some black Americans would say, they're Gentiles. Mm. You're not a Gentile. <laughs> you are under the captivity of the Gentiles. That's right. You were brought under the captivity mm -hmm. and brought to this country That's right. by Gentiles. But you're not a Gentile. You may teach you speak the Gentile language mm. in America, right. and you've learned their ways. Mm. So yes, you may be culturally a Gentile, mm. but you have a, you have a land too, right. right? You have a pedigree, nobody told you. but nobody told you about your pedigree. That's what we have. And it's a great pedigree, mm. right? right? So, mm. uh, but they can't be, we can't be, it's really how we act. Look, we act crazy. Oh, we got, we we've been enslaved. We've been brutalized. We've been maltreated. Nobody likes us. Well, why don't you read the book and figure out why? That's right. That's right. And at that time, it's coming to a close. That's right. These things had to happen. They had to. It was, it was prophesied. It was prophesied. Yahweh decreed these things, and uh, who are we that we could overturn what Yahweh had decreed? <laughs> he said, "Now my word is going to is going to return to the void. Mm -hmm. It's going to fulfill what he said." So he said, "You're going to go. You're going to be in captivity." In all your enemies land that had to come to pass and the, and the fact that the nations don't ease up on us he doesn't want them to right you know, right he, he told them upon the ancient have they very heavily laid their yoke that has to come to pass exactly so, so we we're not upset with with, with 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 the nations or what it is that has actually taken place because we've come to terms and accepted that this was the chastisement of our father right and we have to accept it Right, mm -hmm. yeah. right. And go you, exactly. You didn't do nothing to us. Yahweh let you do this. That's mm. right. Yahweh allowed it. That's you didn't right. do nothing. Nothing. That's right. Yahweh did this stuff. Mm. But so that we can come in these latter days and what confess the mm. sins of our fathers That's right. and our sins mm. that we walk what contrary to Yahweh. Yeah. We walk contrary to us. That's right. That's mm. what he said you would do. Say. See, and I think that's, that's the reality of it. Mm. Said, well, where are they pulling all this stuff from? Mm. Well, Yahweh's giving us the spirit to go there. But we're not going to go there, but let's keep let's keep reading. So now, we got behind me, again, uh, the table of the nations behind me. So we just went through the, the lineage of Yaphat, right? Mm -hmm. So let's continue, brother. I think you left in verse 6. Okay. Verse 6. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, Foot and Canaan. Oh wow! Mm. So now when you get into Ham's lineage, uh -oh. we been, we get ready to get into something. Mm. Ham's not cursed. When you read this, the, the, the Ham's not cursed. But keep on reading. I'm mm. sorry, I got excited. You're right. <laughs> man, it, because of the words are beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. When you love this word, man, yeah. Yeah, man, it's like you. You, you're on a different level. Exactly. They said you're walking in club now. There it is. <laughs> that is right. You got that right. Oh, man. You got that right. All right. Verse 7. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sabta, and Ramah, mm -hmm. and Sabteca, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dedan. Mm. 
and Cush begot Nimrod, mm. he began to be a mighty one in the earth. Mm -hmm. He was a mighty hunter before Yahweh. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now we look at, okay, we're going to uh, write what you just went here, right through here. Verse 6, it says, the sons of Ham, Cush, well, wait, let's let's break that down. Mm -hmm. Well, who is Cush? Uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. That's an ancient name for Cush, mm -hmm. right? And then you got Mizraim. Mm -hmm. Mizraim. In. This is the ancient word for Egypt. Yeah, yeah. ancient Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. Okay. So now they come out of Ham. Mm -hmm. So they'll tell you now Ham is is Ham black? Mm -hmm. See, well, all of them had to be melanated at this time. Uh, we, we can logically, mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. but Ham. Is the progenitor of Kush, mm -hmm. which you call so-called African today, Ethiopian, right? Mizram, you know, they're, they're they come out of the same foot. Is you know, I'll stay with foot is even Libyans, Libyans, Libyans. Libyans and um, and and Canaan, right? And these would be other people. So now you look at verse seven and the sons of Kush. And you begin to, and then when you get the book, you begin to break these down. Seba and Havilah, Zapta, Rama, and Saptaka, and the sons of Rama, Asheba, and Dedan. Mm -hmm. So you now you 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 this is where you have to study a little mm -hmm. bit. Don't listen to people telling you something they don't know more than you sometimes. But you might go get you a book. And you got the you got this jump start right here. That's right. It's already in the Bible. Okay. Go get the historical books. You know what? The, the Gentiles have been voracious researchers. Mm. They've been writing and studying about these things for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of years. That's right. The information is out there. Mm. So we're not making it up. Because the, the Egyptians that you call the day in the land that ruled the day, they are Arabs. Yep. They were not, they just got in the land mm -hmm. in a short time frame yeah, of North Africa. Africa. No, those no, aren't the ancient Egyptians. They'll tell you. Mm -hmm. They're they're Arabs. You know, my other brother, can I not to cut you? Uh, I wanted to read the, the definition in the uh Zondervan pictorial big Please, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Okay, now say that again so everybody can hear what you get ready to read. All right, so this is taken from Zondervan's Bible Dictionary, it's a pictorial Bible dictionary. And we're looking up the word ham. So it says, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Right? Mm, says, not what? The Negroes. Could you repeat that from him? Say that again, please. Say that again, please. It says, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. Mm, thank uh, you. And it references Genesis 10, 6 through 20, and it says his indecency when his father lay drunken brought a curse upon Canaan. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So the Negro, you've been called mm -hmm. not they know that you're not an if you use that term today, you're not an African. Right. You're not you're not Hamitic. You're not of the seed of Ham. Mm -hmm. But you're dark skin. But you're dark skin. And see that's it. See. The, come on, man. See, that's all that that's the confusion mm. people that are in my studies the racism didn't come about that we talk about today until like 700 years ago mm. yeah that's under that's european right. yeah. uh, theories of race that's and right. they divided people of wrong color mm. the, the caucasian caucasian at the top the negro at the bottom that's right. and yeah they had to think of mongoloid in the middle mm. 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 so now they created race and racism mm. Mm. yahweh talks about the nation. nation. That's right. It ain't about your skin color. No. And you keep nothing to do. You're not an African. Just because you look alike, that don't mean you're your that you are the same blood lineage as them. And that's nothing derogatory about them. Because you got different Europeans coming from different. We just read about the nation of the Europeans. Mm -hmm. They might be the same color, but they got different what? Pedi pedi pedigree. That's right. That's right. An Englishman, they might have some different they say, but we're English. Mm -hmm. And we're German. Right. We're proud Swedes. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. I'm Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Right? But just Europe, but, the, but we live on the continent together of Europe. Mm -hmm. So why can't you, why you find it so confusing that on the on the largest continent in the world, 
right? Mm -hmm. I think it still is, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. you got, now you got several countries. But why do you think is that you would not have di differences between the so-called dark people, mm -hmm. black people? Mm -hmm. And they come from different parts, different lineages. You know, so I'm glad you read that. Right. And that came from, where did you read that from? Uh, Zondervan's Pictorial, Pictorial Bible Dictionary. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you got your, and that's good to have, a, mm -hmm. a concordance, a, a concordance, and a Zondervan. Mm -hmm. Pictorial Bible Dictionary. Dictionary. Yeah. So when you're studying, you can put some things together. Logically, that's right. right? Cogently. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing on another. Mm -hmm. Not reading every book. You're gonna get confused. You can't. You gotta start with this. This Bible has to be your your framework in your study. Right. man. That's you can't go read the book of Enoch before you read understand this book because mm -hmm. you're gonna be thrown off. That's right. That's it. Because that book is what it's it's interesting. You feel like you got some secret knowledge mm -hmm. and they kept something from me, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Yeah, we're not bashing. But, well, let's go like we're doing here then. You know, get the book that's been around that's the right. longest. Best seller every year. Best seller every year. That's right. Okay, so continue to go with uh, we, we were looking at. And then Cush, verse 8, we hear somebody named Nimrod mm. steps on the scene. Oh. Mm. Now, we know Nimrod uh, created a city, right? That's oh, right. yeah. What city? Uncle John, tell me. Mm. You guys tell me. I think he was down with Babel. Babel, right? Mm -hmm. What's that? He's in Babel. Right, he was the ruler of the kingdom at that time. Exactly, yeah. and they said he was a mighty, uh, a mighty hunter. See, when you look at that term, what was he hunting? What was it? Mm. Men, the souls of men. He wanted to control, just like they were doing pre-flood. Mm. The descendants of 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 of, of, of uh, Cain, mm -hmm. they became uh, uh, those. They became mm -hmm. mighty, mighty uh, giants, giants, tyrants, and bullies. Tyrant, yeah. mm. And he was a mighty guy. So when you yeah. read about uh, Nimrod later on and found out what this guy was about and why uh, people still follow the things uh, that he him that he put in the earth. Mm -hmm. and you'll be surprised. They and one day they, they still do these things. Mm -hmm. You worship Christmas, you take Christmas every you know you think you, that that about Nimrod. That's right. But then it's going to it's more the Semiramis. It's yeah. mm -hmm. right? These things have survived eons, mm -hmm. and they didn't go away. That's right. It's just been put in a different form. Okay. And the devil don't mind how you worship him as long as you worship, worship him. Whether you knowingly or, or ignorantly. Yeah. As long as you don't come to this truth, mm. that's the key. Mm. Okay. As long you as you don't come to this camp. truth. Yeah, he wants you in this camp. Mm. And some of you are rich and doing well. If that's what's got to keep you, mm. I give it to him. Mm. Right? But well, we're going to touch base on that in a few moments. Well, let's keep on finding out. Uh, I think you're in verse, you was in verse 10. Yes, sir. It says, And the beginning of his kingdom was Babylon, and Erech, and Akkad, and Calmay in the land of Shinar. Shinar. Mm -hmm. Out of that land went forth Asher, and builded Nineveh, okay. and the city Rehobo, and Calah, and reason between Nineveh and Calah, the same as a great city. And Mizraim begot Lugan. So ancient Egypt, Egypt, mm -hmm. this the, the Egypt, this Mizraim Egypt, here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Begot Ludum, and Anamim, and Leobim, and Nephtuhim, and Pathrusin, and Kalus and Kaslusin, out of whom came Philistin, and Kaphtorim. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, mm. and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite. And the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. Mm. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as you go, as you comest rather, to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and Admon, and Zeboam, even unto Lasha. And just to reinforce mm. the others that made the two men. Yahweh is telling this to Moshe, Moses. Okay. Mo, this is the first five books of the Bible are known as the book of Moses or the book of Moshe. Mm -hmm. So Moshe is taking these, what he's hearing, and he's applying, letting you know uh, where these places are in relation to markers of his time. Mm -hmm. As you yeah. go into Sodom and, yeah. and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And we know later on you hear about Sodom and Gomorrah. Landmark. 
these are landmarks. You get them landmarks. Mm. You know, and um, do you want to finish that up? Let's go on 20. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Verse 20. These are the sons of Ham after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. Okay. Mm. Now, black people, mm. you want to know who you come from? Right. This is where you this is where you come from. Your brother just read from the book, the Zondervan um the Zondervan Pictorial, Pictorial Bible, Bible Dictionary. Bible. Uh -huh. You don't come from Africans, you don't come out of that. Uh -huh. But you come out, so where did you come from then? Now you were you not part of Yaphab, Noah's sons? Hmm. So you have to be part of one of them somewhere, right? That's right. And this is where you're coming from. You come out of no monkey. You got no mm. monkey, you just, mm. you just jumped on the uh, mm. set. you just jumped on the set. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, you just jumped on the set. Mm -hmm. Oh no! So here we are right now in um, the genesis of the nation. The genesis of the nation. So it's this is Israel's where a nation. it's Israel's a nation. Mm -hmm. Now we know uh, you're going to find out these nations. Mm -hmm. This showing you the genealogy, the, the, how they're coming. Mm -hmm. But Israel, when it becomes a nation, last it's the last to come out of all the nations because mm -hmm. it comes out of what. Bondage coming out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yahweh brought a nation out of a nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is going on today. You're in the nation of the United States. Mm -hmm. You're a nation within this nation. Mm -hmm. And you got to repeat the same thing at some point. Mm -hmm. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. Hmm. That's so true, my you want to say something, Your Honor? No, I said nothing new under the sun. You're absolutely right with that one. Crazy. So now that's why Shem and Eber, that's why they tell you that name Eber is so important. Just keep a well, keep, Eber, Eber means the name. The name. Right. Yeah. So that's why it's gonna be important coming out of this. Interesting. It's, it's, it's all if you don't know, if, if I had not been taught these things, hmm. I wouldn't know. We praise y'all for our teachers. That's yes, right. You gotta praise y'all for your teachers, man. Yeah. Because you know, you, you didn't we didn't come in this earth knowing nothing. We weren't like Adam was created hmm. in the knowledge as we discussed before. That's right. He mm -hmm. came into now, he was created in and that light was that law and the knowledge. So he was a full functioning genius, mm. you know, for, for, for practical purposes. Mm -hmm. I all understand. First of his kind. The first of his kind. Yeah. Created by God himself. Mm -hmm. And the woman was created from him. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So uh, continue with verse 21. Mm. If you can start over, you want. Verse 20. These are the sons of Ham after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Verse 21. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were born were children born. Right? Mm -hmm. The children of Shem, Elam, mm -hmm. and Asher, and Arphaxad, right. and Lud, and Aram, uh, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxad begot Selah, and Selah begot Eber. And unto Eber were two sons born. The one of the name of one was okay. Pele. Okay. For in his days was the earth divided. Mm. And his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begot Almadad, and Sheleth, and Hazar Mabeth, and Jira, and, H and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah. And Jobab, all these were the sons of Jotham. And their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east. Mm -hmm. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth. After the flood. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And we got see, because before, mm. all the humans was together. Right. Right? Right. So you always say, I'm going to break this up. Mm. You got everybody divided. Right. And the nations by by their uh, progenitors. Mm. And so we will, we, we definitely come out of uh, of Shem. But see, this is what we, we have to understand. This is the baseline mm -hmm. of what's going on. So when you get to the Gospels, and you're seeing Yahshua talking about the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Now let's 
I want to just show you something about that term Gentile where Yahshua is speaking. Right. So you can get on it. And he's prophesying and he's telling the brothers about, um, they ask him when, when these things are going to be fulfilled about Jerusalem falling, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's in Luke 17. Mm -hmm. I think I think Luke 17. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's in, okay. And uh, as I recall, and, uh, and that way I want to, uh, I think it's 17, but I, and it's also talked about in Matthew as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, let me see, can I find, I think it's Luke 17. Um, here we go, let me find it. You're uh, talking about the, the, the three questions that they asked him? Yeah. Um, let me see. Now that's, this talking about Luke. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's talking about the, uh, my, y'all got to forgive me here for one moment. And uh, let me have, this is when, um, Uh, I think that's where we're, we're going to go because, uh, give me a minute. Uh, Yahshua, I think, um, I think it might be 24. I think that might be it. Let me it, it check. It's um, more information. Okay. Maybe that's you know, like dealing with the author, the right. um, yeah. new instruction. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Yeah. I, I think that may be it. Let me just, uh, we can talk about. Uh, these things. Let me. Uh, I tell you what. I don't think that's where I intended to go. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go back. I'm gonna find it. Um, but let's let's continue in the book of uh, Genesis and chapter 11. 11. And let me find that, okay. my brothers. Uh, okay. Y'all excuse me on that one. Uh, so Uriah, will you uh, begin? Okay, and I'll find that. Genesis chapter 11, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Verse 3. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly, mm -hmm. or thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said, Behold, the people is one, mm. and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing would be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Mm. Go to, let us go down, and they conform their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So Yahweh scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because Yahweh did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did Yahweh scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Mm. These are the generation of Shem. Okay, now before you go to Shem, so you, this is a powerful story um, mm -hmm. that we just, uh, you just covered, because, um, the, the, the first part shows you the lineage first mm -hmm. of all of them. And then this chapter 11 tells you the mindset that they had. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's get together. They all spoke the same language. What language were they speaking? What was the language? Mm -hmm. The original language from, from Adam. Mm -hmm. and that, well, that would be what? Hebrew, of course. That'd be Hebrew. That ties back to the name, Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, it's found that. Hebrew. Hebrew to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. The Hebrew, you know, in that, uh, and a lot of our people say, well, now this is an old tongue. They mm -hmm. say they speak the, now you can't be speaking this Hebrew because this is ancient, 
antiquity. But our elderly ride right, gonna deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna give him up. We're gonna give him an opportunity. <laughs> we're, gonna give him that. No, we're gonna set him up right now. So hey, don't set me up there. Set, set, set him up. He's gonna, he's gonna need time to deal with that. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna there's a, yeah, there's, y'all know. there's a lot of things time. that entails in that language, and if we can even get over the basic, mm. you know, and um, you know, you do some more research on it. And see if it's something that you know we all want to portray in the future, mm-hmm. because returning back to the line, we mm-hmm. all want to speak Hebrew, right? Right. right. And yeah. it's and it's also a, a, a it bridges the gap because there's so much confusion between so-called internet names. Yeah, we understand that. No, it's not that. It's the, there's there's things in this language that have to be broken down and have to be understood. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. you can't just right. discredit what people are, what 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 what. Yeah, blow them off. Yeah, we don't. Off. No, right. no, let's right. discuss it. Let's reason out of the scripture and, and come to an understanding. Mm-hmm. You know, another thing, knowing that you know, I think what, was it was Psalms nineteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that all language. That's right. Is there, you know, by the Creator? Yeah. It doesn't matter what. So, That's right. You know, because people, well, it doesn't matter which language mm-hmm. they, they they spoke. We all fall short of the glory of the Most High. We all are sinners. Mm-hmm. Our fathers spoke Hebrew. Yeah. They were in the land. They knew the tribe they were from. They yeah. knew Yahweh's name, but they were sinning and, and caused Yahweh to they, they ran the spirit out of the city. And oh! got, and got out of the land. So mm-hmm. what the heck, knowing that, what's that going to do? It makes you more accountable. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. We can't play with this. Yeah, you can't play with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Because... Um, you know, now what I wanted to... Um, you want to um, break? I'm going to... Um, I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to see the times of the Gentiles are going to be where um, oh, Yeshua talks about that. The time of the yeah. Gentiles? Yes, he, he, he breaks that down. Mm-hmm. And um, because what we want to do, I want to be able to, uh, you know, but basically that that it, Yeshua t- tells us that, that we're going to be scattered. Mm-hmm. Israel... It's going to be scattered mm-hmm. because they're going to ask, what, what, what about us? What about the people? He said, it's going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. Mm-hmm. That's what Yahshua is saying, mm-hmm. right? And that, but that won't be, we won't be in a situation until the times of the Gentiles have been fulfilled. fulfilled. Mm-hmm. But there is a time that, um, uh, yeah, Luke, 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 yeah. Right. 21. 21. Yeah. yeah. And you go to verse 24. Mm-hmm. You know, we can go and, um, and, and, and you, you can go here and read 20, okay. uh, 20 through 24. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that, that talks about it. Um, Luke um, chapter 21, verse 20. And when, <clears throat> and when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, mm-hmm. then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Yehudah, I mean uh, Judea, Flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein. For these be the days of vengeance, mm-hmm. that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to, um, unto them that give suck in those days for there shall be this great. This is it. This is where I want to go. Mm-hmm. Great mm-hmm. distress mm-hmm. in the land, mm-hmm. and wrath upon this people, mm-hmm. and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Well, who is they? Us, the children of Israel. That's right. Us. This is, now this is the Messiah talk. Mm-hmm. Now these things are going to happen in seventy A.D. Mm-hmm. When you go back here when he said when you see the armies um, in camp. Uh, Israel, that when the Egyptians, uh, the, the Romans, mm-hmm. you know, uh, encamped by, I think it's Vespasian. That's right. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, this yeah, is the Titus. 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 Yeah, that's right. They, they encamped. They laid, they laid siege mm-hmm. on the city of Jerusalem, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, it was, and it was during the time of Passover. And during the time of Passover. Passover. Mm-hmm. Called, called them out God. Called them out God. Yeah. But they got tired of our, they got tired of the rebellion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So finally, this is what the Mashiach is telling them. You know, you're going to see a lot of stuff go down, but and they're going to be great distress. That, that's a mere prophecy. Mm. And, and this is going to apply to us. And when you get to 24, keep on reading. So when, that's why you got to know who the Gentiles are. Right? Mm. That's why it was important. I wanted to make sure that how these things connect to that's Genesis right. 10. That's right. That you don't know who the nations are. You that's think right. it's just anybody that's not a Jew. Mm. That could be anybody then. It's like mm. Elder Brother uh, Uriah was saying um, when he, he was speaking to the person about uh, the young lady. He said about starting the book where it says in the beginning. Start there because you start in the middle of the book. You know they got Bibles that start at Psalms. 
Well, I think oh, the yeah. Bibles that just started the New Testament. Yeah. But then how do you get an understanding? Right. How do you get an understanding? Messiah said, search the scriptures. They speak of me. In, in them, you That's right. in them, uh, you know, you they search the scriptures. Yeah. But yeah. they speak, they are they eternal speak of me. Or eternal right, but they speak of me. So how do you know they call they don't say his name? Mm -hmm. Come on, now they talk about the anointed to come. Mm -hmm. We're talking about study. There it is, bro. Now keep on that. You read, you started it. Right. They shall fall by the end of the sword. That means Israel. Now like she was telling you what be happening to you. Mm -hmm. right. well, let, let me pick it up by, uh, from 24. Go ahead. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile un until the times of the Gentile mm -hmm. before Can somebody drop a mic? There it is. That's it. <laughs> Can somebody say something about that? <laughs> now, this is, now I, want, I want the people who are not necessarily in the truth mm -hmm. at this point to listen. This is what Christ is saying. Yeah. Who fits this description mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. earth? Go this, by process of elimination. Go by process, process of elimination. Mm -hmm. Only through the transatlantic slave trade mm -hmm. is where you have, that's nothing like that in the world has taken place where one people mm -hmm. was transported and mm -hmm. dispersed into all the nations. Right? Mm -hmm. But, and good. Yeah, the Hamitic, the Hamitic Africans sold you to the Euro Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And the Euro Gentiles led the transportation. So mm -hmm. we weren't stolen? No, you were not stolen. They said, they said we Nobody stolen. came in. No, no one, the European powers at that time were not militarily able mm -hmm. to go into West Africa and conquer anybody. Mm -hmm. They had to, they went there first as traitors. That's right. Over time, when their wealth and the development of the military weaponry advanced, mm -hmm. they then mm -hmm. conquered. But that was really after the Civil War. Mm -hmm. When they finally just said, let's go in now and just take it off. They just raided. They yeah, raided. they just raided. Right. So you have to have a knowledge of history mm -hmm. about what's happening. That's right. But mm -hmm. this is what it says. They shall be led away captive into what? All nations. Mm -hmm. Now what people has been led away? Captive, mm -hmm. slave, enslaved. And it's and it's well known to this very day. You know, all you gotta do if you ever if you ever had the the, the, the opportunity to see the Olympics. We don't you know, we're not crazy in the Olympics. Go ahead, but nonetheless, brother. if you look at the Olympics, you'll see mm -hmm. that Judah was so called black man is scattered in every country and That's is cool. representing every country in the Olympics. But where's their country? Right. Mm -mm -mm. Represent every country and win gold. Gold mm -hmm. medals. They, gold gold they, they get the honor gold. for it. That's right. That's right. Like you say, process. Of I, I was uh, when doing my research in the past when we was just, mm -hmm. I would go into, I would just go to the computer. Mm -hmm. I'll type in blacks in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Boom, there go the black people in Turkey. That's right. Looking just like you and I. Mm -hmm. And they were brought there, their descendants were brought there as slaves. Mm -hmm. Type in the computer, blacks in Iran. There they go. There, right. there we are. That's right. Blacks in Pakistan. Black people in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. There Everywhere. we are. That's right. Everywhere. Black people, they got some brothers in India. I'm not talking about the Indians and their cats. I'm talking about black people. I forgot that they, they were called the Siba. I think they go by Siba. Mm -hmm. And they they think that they were left off um, there in India uh, uh, on one of the port the slave, the slaver ships. Mm -hmm. And they were probably coming from Zanzibar in the Indian Ocean or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're there and they are pretty much excluded. They do their own thing. Mm -hmm. They, you know, uh, but these are just like, if you look at them, you couldn't tell if they were black Americans, but in the islands. They don't look, they don't even look, they, people have a certain look. Right. So how did they get there? Mm -hmm. You know, you got people of all these countries and they'll tell you the brothers are, uh, but they don't know really who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting, and and just like you say, and all over Africa, yeah, is is you know they is is there's tribes. They're not called black. No, they call them no. by by but tribal names, right. but they know who they are. Who right? they are? And they're they're distinguished from all the other people. people. Right, right. And they know their creator's name. They know the creator's name. That's why. Well, you, you know what? You know what? Get them upset so more. Mm. Call them. Call them African. Mm. Right. right. That's the country. Right. Yeah, yeah, you right. call them African. It's insulting. Yeah, it really is. You yeah. know, it, 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 when you it insults people's intelligence when you I mean, like you say, it's a continent. Yeah. Okay, so what 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 language did you speak if you're from this continent? Right. Like, what country are you right. from? Right. Mm -hmm. They 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 have a connection. They know who they are. That's right. They have a connection. 
So, you know, you got brothers that are Igbo in West Africa, mm -hmm. and, and many of them uh, recognize that they're Jews. That's right. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They may not be Messianic Jews like we are, that we believe in the Messiah. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh got us, Judah is over here. We coming out first. Mm -hmm. Judah got to go first with those You know, we got to always be the first house. Mm -hmm. Judah is comprised, the house of Judah is comprised of what? Benjamin, Judah, and Levi. Right. That's right. the house yeah. of Judah. And now, and then you got in West Africa, you got the Limba, mm -hmm. the Limba people. The Shanti. You got the Black and, 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 the, and these people know who they are. And uh, But then, you know, that, that, that's why you have to study, because we've been over here separated from everybody. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh put us, <laughs> but we're captive in the most powerful land mm -hmm. ever known. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just like we were captive in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. in the most, we've always been captive to the most um, how do we relate? How does Israel relate to the ancient powers? Mm -hmm. We've been their captives. That's right. Yep. That's we were right. the captives of the Egyptians. Yep. We were captives under the uh, Babylonians. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Romans. The Persians. The Persian Empire. Mm -hmm. and, now, on the and now we're presently under the captivity of what? Of the Romans. Yeah, of the of the of the, the post of the Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's and, it's, and so we know we're now in the daughter. America is a daughter of Europe. Mm -hmm. And she is now the daughter. She's also the daughter, also means the daughter of Babylon, mm -hmm. land of confusion. Mm -hmm. This is where all the mingled nations. See, this is not one nation, but this is this is where all the Europeans came from. All they came here together, mm -hmm. but they're not one people. They call themselves American, but their progenitors or the French are still there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, you might not be French to sit, but France is going to be around. Mm -hmm. America may not be around, mm -hmm. but Germany's going to be around. Right. England's going to be around mm -hmm. in some shape, possibly more than likely. Right. But America, that's why I said it's around. a mingled nation. Mm -hmm. There's not really, you're here because everybody come together and you use one term to hold yourself together. You know, race, white. Right. And that's not really, you know, and, and you got to have the black here. Blacks are here, that's right. but we're the Israelites. Mm -hmm. we're, we're the Jews, we're children of Israel, and that's fine. We're not fighting about that. We're just going to follow this book and let Yahweh fight our battle. Yeah. Yahweh going to do the delivering. Yeah. He's already did it all. He's already done. He's done. The Mashiach is right here. Mm -hmm. So when you read something like that in Luke 21, verse 24, mm -hmm. how do you deal with that? You have to go back to the beginning and lay a foundation. Exactly. That's so we already told you the Gentiles were. Mm -hmm. Like you're building a house and you start on the second floor. How do you want to do that? That thing ain't going to work. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. But thank you, brothers. And that was the chapter. I went there first. But my, I went there 17. Now, yeah. I, but so I got a different Bible. Sometimes mm -hmm. I look at my Bible and I look at how my notes are written okay. also. But praise God. So praise God. you were at... Um, uh, 24. Uh, yeah, so you... We, 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 did you finish? Uh, we were getting ready to go to verse 11, right? Genesis chapter eleven, verse eleven. You were going to, you were going verse through the, ten. Yeah. Yeah. No. Chapter eleven. Yes. Verse, uh, pick it up at verse ten. It is going to give you um, more information the rundown of, about um, um, our fight. Uh, yeah, of Shem. Okay. Especially when it comes to the Holy Seed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me read it. Um, Who's reading? Genesis eleven, verse ten. These are the generation of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat Alphaxa two years after the flood. And Shem, and Shem lived after he begat Alphaxa 500 years and begat sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. And Alphaxa lived five and thirty years and begat Selah. And Alphaxa lived after he begat Selah 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Selah lived 30 years and begat Eber. <clears throat> and Selah begat, and Selah lived after he begat Eber. 403 years and begat sons and daughters. Okay, now you know Eber. Okay. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Man, the, 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 our forefathers, that man, they lived a long, long time. Man, so, right. So Eber kept the Hebrew language. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So that's the tongue that he was at. That, mm -hmm. See, because he confounded the tongues, but there had to be that seed to keep the keep that. Good point, brother. Keep mm -hmm. it going. Glad you brought that up. Praise God. Praise God. Verse it. 16. And Eber lived four and thirty years and begot Peleg. And Eber lived after he begot Peleg four hundred and thirty years and begot sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years and begot Ruth. Okay. 
And Peleg lived after he begat Ruth 209 mm. years and begat sons and daughters. Mm. You know, all these remind me back in Genesis chapter 6, right. where um, I think it's uh, verse 3. Yeah. You know, because uh, back then, um, you know, I remember way back when I was back home, they asked how long it takes to build the ark. Okay. I know we're another at a time, so we can't go back, but at another time, we'll go back that. and get in touch on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all these That's land here, point. and That's these excellent. were after, you understand, mm -hmm. live more than 120 years. So that 120 years are pertaining to something else. Right. Oh, okay, so that wasn't the length of time that the men For men, no. No, no, no. no, to, no. To, to, even to touch a little bit, it was um, the time it gave up until before the flood. Oh. That's when he was going to take mankind up. So it was a countdown. It was a countdown. Countdown. Yeah. It was a countdown. See, count down. Yeah. Yeah. see when you study this Bible? Right. Yeah. Exactly. You got to touch on that uh, yeah. next week. Yeah. 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 We got to. Yeah. We got to touch on. It. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, we come you. on, man. We were expecting <laughs> we expect you would give oh, us a breakdown of that. Yeah. And uh, come with your charts and graphs. So, yeah. and y'all willing? We're gonna get you out there, but. People don't know. These are just those are good questions yeah. that you can can you read them. You think how long did it take them to do that thing? Because mm -hmm. when he first says, he always said my, his spirit would not always describe man because man is flesh mm -hmm. and 120 years. So that what he said, 120 years now mm -hmm. it's a wrap. And mm -hmm. these people be like, well, there's contradictions in the Bible. So they yeah, say, oh, 120, but then the man lived 900. Years. 900 years, about the 700 years yeah. after. Right. So we have to clear up that. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, yeah, we have to clear up all those things in the Bible. Exactly. Yeah. This is why y'all we have created this body. Praise you. 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 Praise and Rue lived 30 Siru, years. Siru. Siru. Uh, Rue. Oh, okay. Siru. Yeah, and Sirug. Sirug, yeah. Yeah, Sirug lived 30 years and begat Nahor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Sirug lived after he begat Nahor 200 years and begat sons and daughters. And Nahor lived 9 and 29 years and begat Tira. And Nahor lived after he begat Tira. And hundred and nineteen years, and begot sons and daughters. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. And Tiro lived seventy years, and begot Abram mm -hmm. and Nahor oh. and Aaron. Now you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now these are the generation of Tiro. Tiro begot uh, um, Abram and Nahor and Aaron, and Aaron begot Lot. Mm -hmm. And Aram died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity, in her of the Chaldees. Mm. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wives was Sarah, and the so name yeah, no, no. Sarai. Yeah, Sarai. Yeah, yeah, name haven't been changed yet. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah um, Sarai. And the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, mm. the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. Verse 31. And Terah took Ab Abram, his son, and took Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter in law, his son. Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Aram and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Aram. So now you see they're close and they went. Uh, Abram, father Abram, mm. Ham, but he's not Abraham yet. Right. It's Sarai and Abraham. So you know who the father of T Rock is Abram's father. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. right. And right. you know um Abram's brother Haran Haran died mm -hmm. and his nephew Lot mm -hmm. uh was still um on the thing. So how much time have we 
pushed forward now. Uh, we're over two hours. Okay, so what we're done, so so what we're done right now, what we we've covered the table of the nations behind us. Mm -hmm. This class was enti is entitled um, Genesis of the Nations. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so we want to make sure. See, and this book is laid out for you to. It seems boring and long, but no book is written like this in the mm. world. No book like this is laid out uh, in great it's detail, and everybody wants a part of this because it's a great narrative. That's right. It's a great history. Beautiful, man. Beautiful right? Story. It's a beautiful story. Beautiful mm. story. And then he said, well, and how could it be their story? The wretched of the earth. Mm. <laughs> mm. They're wretched. Mm -mm. We're considered mm -mm. wretched. We've been broken down to the basics. To the basics, right? Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got a. Uh, we right got a. So when you see, I mean, when you see certain so. things, I yeah. mean, you know, but when you look at the curses that were put on our fathers and the things they endured, mm -hmm. and then okay, so coming out of captivity or slavery and no therapy, like I, I see soldiers go to war and then they come back and they say, okay, they have post traumatic stress disorder. Well, what about the children that went through slavery? Mm -hmm. Based on the people being lynched, burned, killed, all these things. And you don't think that this psychologically affected the people? Give me a break. A brother, how would they? How would the nations fare right now if they endured the things that the children of Israel went through? No, they couldn't do it because they're not the people. So this is why they would have been genocided right. out. They would have died out. That's right. But that's why we're not. That's why we're here today. That's right. Because our fathers, our father Yahweh, preserved us. Mm. But you're right. You hear people um, the men, they like to diminish the experience of the enslaved quote Africans in America. Mm -hmm. In the Americas, mm -hmm. and we even do it among ourselves. That's, that's, that's we'll that's come true. back and say, "Well, the, the brothers down in the Caribbean, they're act slavery." And, and the, you haven't studied; you've never even been out the country. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. haven't studied those things, mm -hmm. so don't speak on things that you you sound ignorant. Mm -hmm. You don't know what happened in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Proud of his name before that was Saint Domingue. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on there, but you hear about great men, uh, two something over chart. Mm -hmm. The only uh, of, the, of the African of, of, of slave colonies who fought and defeated a regular French regiment of 50,000 French crack troops, they defeated them. Had them on the run. They defeated them. That's right. Had them on the run. Why would they be, if they were never enslaved, then why would they fight slave rebellions? Right. Mm. They want to come back. Napoleon sent them down mm. there to re, Napoleon sent those troops to re-enslave them. That's right. Because mm -hmm. they had freed them initially, you know, well, we're going to get these colonies back. Mm -hmm. And his next step was to come back to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And people don't even understand that he was going to take Louisiana back from the Americans. Once he had subdued the, those in Haiti, yeah. his next step was coming to America to get Louisiana back because he thought that was a bad deal. Mm -hmm. And they sold that territory. Mm -hmm. the French, but that's the, That was a French territory. Mm -hmm. you know, why why, why y'all sold this? But the Haitians, the Haitians saved, helped, the Haitians saved America. Mm -hmm. And kept it as it is today. But they don't want to talk about that. No. Because the Asians, that's why they catch so much hell now. They were the, that's right. I'm, like, I, I'm not smart hating so much. My brother Mikhail's not here. No. But the reason is, but well, guess what? The Haitian government, after they were fought, no other Europeans would really trade with them. No. Right. No. So they said, no, we're not going to allow this. That stigma still on. It's it still on. And the American slaveholders, they were so scared. Mm. When they heard about that slave revolt mm. and beating of the French, mm. they went on overdrive mm. oppressing the slaves in the Americas, in the yeah, South. That's right. Yeah. But they said, that that's why you got these things. You hear about the guns and all these different things. There's a historical basis for everything. Mm. So now, France demanded reparations mm. for the sugar and the rum and all the money they say they lost from the slave labor. And the Haitians had to pay all that money back hmm. to, to yeah. France. Yeah, that's right. So now you talk about the Americas, mm. Mm. right? Well, what people don't? I asked somebody. Well, and I said this years ago. People use it. Well, if you want to say uh, what we went through, our people went through. What my black people ain't? Why, why they always complain what they gone through in slavery? Ain't, you know, but, well, okay. Hmm. Well, find me. Mm -hmm. You gotta find show let's do a litmus test. Mm -hmm. Let's do comparables. Okay. Let's find a similarly situated people That's right. mm -hmm. who were enslaved mm -hmm. in such a manner, scattered all around the world, mm -hmm. 
stripped of name, culture, everything, and broken down to chattel animals. That's right. And they have no rights mm. to their bodies, their children, and will work to death. Now, show me those people on the earth. Mm. And if they're doing well and faring well, you got a point. Mm. Now we can compare. But show me the people that went through that like us, mm. like our forefathers, and what we're going through. Show us though. Then you can say, mm. ain't nobody been through that. No other nation. That's man. right. And the Native Americans, they couldn't deal it because they, you genocide. They were genocided out. Just about. That's right. The natives of them. Yeah, they killed them all. But guess what? We don't bid. I'm going to call, at this point, I'm going to, before we go any further, I'm going to end, I like to say, we've completed today's class of Genesis of the Nations. Mm. Okay. Um, and we're going to we just it in today. yeah we got uh, we're Where going to segue it? into um, some questions um, and I was in the middle of something but next week we're going to pick up uh, on another aspect of this holy book mm. and, uh, and 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 give those and have a class and a discussion please check our um, YouTube and Facebook and you can see the various classes we've done uh, thus far and new moves. Mm -hmm. But um, as it is our custom, as we end the class uh, discussion right now, uh, is there any comments or questions um, regarding uh, today's class uh, from your brothers ending Genesis of the Nations? A beautiful class, man. Even Great. myself been edified, you know, by what was said today, you know, on, um, you know, as, as time go on, we, we, we start open our books some more mm -hmm. and other books that, you know, give us, you know, more, you know, research that have been done, you know, to read them. Mm -hmm. To exactly. read them, you know. Right, yeah. yeah. So we can walk more righteously in this world, knowing that the time, you know, is at hand. We mm -hmm. have to return back to our rightful, you know, land that belongs to the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. We praise y'all to open our eyes then. Right, you right. Know, and right. pray y'all open the eyes of, you know, the listeners and uh, the viewers, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the keepers of the halls of life too. Great, yes, sir. Brother Obadiah. Um, I'm going to land back off of what my other brother said. <laughs> this is what I was receiving. Uh, if we could go to Revelations chapter 1. Mm -hmm. I just want to read 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you get there. Uh, that's the uh, Revelations. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1? Yes, sir. Verses we, 1 through 3? Because earlier you were talking about how important it is that our people receive and hear these things. You mm -hmm. know, to be out of the Because the time is short. Okay. We, we, we just don't have the time. It's not no. just, like you say, it's not just motivation. We motivate. But it's also to warn the people and to admonish them that the time is at hand, like you say, my brother. Yeah. So, Revelation yeah. chapter 1, verse 1 through 3 states, The revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach, which Elohim gave unto him, to show unto his servants things that must shortly come to pass. Mm -hmm. And he sent and signified it by his hand, by his angel rather, and unto his servant, Yohanan, who bear record of the word of Elohim and of the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach of all, and of all this that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, mm. and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Mm. Oh, man. That's it. Hey, you know, that, you know, hey, thank you for that. You know, we're going to, um, you know, meditate on those things. Mm. Because, you know, this is about your life. Mm. This is not about, oh, we know so much and we here just got a forum to talk about what we've learned. Mm. You no, know, we're trying to exhort you to take a, just get the spirit of loud, just to, to say, hey, Maybe it's time for me to walk another way. Mm. Maybe it's time. That maybe Yahweh is calling me uh, to Yahshua, calling me back. And he wants me to keep the commandments. He wants me to sanctify myself. Mm. You got to be sanctified. You have to get washed up of the, this is, the, the baptism of Yahshua is for the remission of past sins mm. so that you can start anew. You are still, baby, you, you still capable of sin and breaking the law. But you now have an advocate if you stumble. And you are going to stumble. That baptism doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. Because it just means now you start in a race. You're cleaned up. But the time, what did you just read, brother? You said, uh, the time is at hand. And what did it say? It says, blessed is he that reads. 
Oh, okay. Mm. There it is. And they that hear the word. So what's the opposite of a blessing? Mm. A curse. A curse. curse is he that don't read. <laughs> and I they love that. don't hear the words of this prophecy and mm. keep those things that are written there. But it's time is still at hand. It's still at hand. Man, it's real. You're so you're so right. Uh one of the things when and under this curse, and we have to come to that understanding, this is where we are. Uh, we have to make a you know, why is Yahweh preserved you this long? Mm. Now again, the class is we pretty much completed the class now. We we completed the class for the for this evening, uh the Sabbath. Um uh, the, the genesis of the nations, but we we got a little time. How much time we put? Time, how much time we got left? None. How much, look, we we, we got like two, two, two and a half. Okay, we we've, we've completed that. Now I'm gonna give you something to read so you can understand. You go to Leviticus 26 and read 40 through 46. Hmm. Leviticus 26, 40 through 26. This is the reason that why we are not totally destroyed hmm. because Yahweh has what? And I'll read one verse. Y'all. Allow me to read this. In verse 44, Yahweh is, uh, the prophet is, they're, they're talking about how our people have constantly broken the law, right? Mm -hmm. And we're now in our enemy's lands. Mm. You know, so I'm going to just read it, if you don't mind. Right. Um, in verse 40, it's 26, okay. verse 40. And, uh, and this is, this is, this is always, but well, this is in the very beginning Praise of the book. That's right. And, 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 and Yahweh declares the end mm -hmm. from the beginning mm -hmm. so that you can't give the glory to your idols. Mm -hmm. It's already written. Mm -hmm. You can't glorify your God that's not a God. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh said, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do right now. Mm -hmm. And a thousand years later, three thousand years later, it's going to go down. That's right. But it's going to go down. But here, mm -hmm. this is this debate what's going on. This is what we're doing now to get things right. Mm -hmm. Verse 40. If they shall confess their what? Iniquity right. mm -hmm. and the iniquity of their fathers mm -hmm. with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me. Mm -hmm. We're talking about repentance here now, mm -hmm. and that I have also walked contrary unto them mm -hmm. and have brought them into the land of their what enemies. So Yahweh did that. Yahweh did this to us. Mm -hmm. you, this is the the you Israel. Can't blame the white man. No, you can't blame the white man. Alone. Yeah, we did this. Mm -hmm. So now this is in the beginning of the book. This is when we just coming out of the wilderness. Yeah. So now you're going, they're talking about some other time. That's right. It's far off. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in the land of your enemies, but if then, this is what y'all got to do now, mm -hmm. if then their uncircumcised hearts be humble, mm -hmm. and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, just like you just said, Brother Obadiah. Mm -hmm. accept it. You got to accept it now. See. Ain't nobody else's fault. can't buck up against it. You can't buck it. Oh, well, everybody doing us wrong. Right. Now let's go and read this book. Yeah, they are, but but to read the book, know why? Mm -hmm. Don't do like Adam. Don't do like it. <laughs> 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 Pass that book, Pass and, book. and then and again it says forty two. Then what? Then he said, if you accept that, mm -hmm. then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, mm -hmm. and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham, mm -hmm. and will I remember? And I will remember the land. Mm -hmm. The land also shall be left of them. And shall enjoy, you're not in the land right now. No, sir. And shall enjoy her Sabbath mm -hmm. while she. Mm -hmm. See now that's why that Sabbath is important. That's very, very important. Why are we keeping the Sabbath? Right, look, look at this. And they shall enjoy their Sabbath mm -hmm. while she lies desolate without them, mm -hmm. and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity or their lawlessness. Yes. Because even because they despise, and we the people despise the commandments now. That's right. Man, that's we right. couldn't keep those commandments. Mm -hmm. Won't even try. Won't even try. Right. He said, because they despise my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statutes. And but he, he always said, but I'm 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 a you're my people. Mm. I'll make way for you. Mm -hmm. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, where we are now, in the land of our friends, mm -hmm. I think not. No. I will not cast them away. That's why we're not destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's why we're still in America. Yahweh cut us down, but then look, he, he said. He still stretched out his hand. So right. He, 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 so they, they want the motivation, the encouragement. It's all it's here. right here. It's it's all I here. still love you. Yes. And I love you. And he yes. says, and yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, mm. I will not cast them away. That's comfort. Mm. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly. Mm. Mm -hmm. No genocide. That's right. Mm. And to break my and to break my he said, if he did that. He will be breaking his covenant with them. Mm. For I am Yahweh their God. 
Mm-hmm. They're Elohim. That's right. But I will, but I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors. We're studying that now. Mm-hmm. Right now. Whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen. And that terminology can be used Gentile for that purpose. But it's the heathen. That's mm-hmm. right. That I might be their God, their Elohim. That's right. I am Yahweh. Mm-hmm. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moshe. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Yes. So, <laughs> that Revelations 1, 1 through 3, praise Yah. Praise See, Yahweh. this praise thing, this book is real. Oh, so, man. at this point, it is so real, man. I think we, 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 we can keep on reading different scriptures, but yeah. let's, uh, but you, you have anything else to say? I don't want to deprive you. <laughs> no, no, you're not depriving me. You cut the no. mic off on your right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It's all right. I ain't gonna put the mic on you now. I ain't gonna do you like that. No, no, you know, when you go to uh, Rome. Oh, Obi might do it. He's a, he's a, he's a brain. He got all the. He's an electronic man. I don't know what to do. You know, I wouldn't do it. So, you know, people really have a problem with us. You know, mm-hmm. when that's with us, I mean, the children of Israel. Right. I said then, that is Romans chapter 11. Mm-hmm. You know, has Elohim caused away his people? Mm-hmm. Yahweh forbid, man. See? You know, I just don't want to say. I mm-hmm. would never cut off his people, man. See? Yeah. But the nation said he has. Yeah. yeah. So with that, you're going to find the truth mm-hmm. as you're studying here with us. That's right. So you're going to find that the truth, and that's a lie. Mm-hmm. But with that, I'm going to um, stop being long-winded. <laughs> but, but the spirit moves, that the spirit does what it does. Yeah, that's right. It's like the wind. Yeah. But... Um, with that, we'd like to thank all of you today for um, keeping the Sabbath with us. Mm-hmm. And we hope that what we have discussed today has been edifying to, to you and your families and friends. Um, and we'll hope that you will be, if y'all are willing, that you will tune in with us uh, next Sabbath uh, as we delve into these Holy Scriptures and, and uh, with us as we, the keepers of the house of life, Try to bring some light to you. Um, anything else? I think you have anything else. Yeah, that's it. Well, praise y'all. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. My brother, yes. my brothers, and my brothers. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Have a blessed remainder.